so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Mika! Hello! Hey, it's me, Blippi. And look at where we're at! Whoa! Yeah, today we're at Moonlight Rollerway in Glendale, California! Woohoo! This is a place where you can roller skate! Woohoo! Yeah! Have you ever roller skated before? <laughs> it is so much fun! But first, I have someone really important and special to introduce you to. It's Mika, and she is my best friend. Hey, Blippi. Whoa! Hi, everyone. I'm Mika. Yeah! Mika is my best friend. Oh, Blippi, you're my best friend. Oh, Mika, <laughs> you're my best friend. <laughs> hey, Mika, do you want to know what we're going to do today? Yeah. Check it out. Moonlight Rollerway? Does that mean we're rolling? You have to have really good balance. Yeah, you do. I bet you are going to do really good. Oh, we'll see. I bet you're going to do really good. Oh, all right, let's go. Yeah, come on. I'm so excited. Let's go. Woo -hoo -hoo. Wow, look at this place, Mika. difference between ice skates and roller skates? Yeah, an ice skate has a blade and roller skates have four wheels, two in the front and two in the back. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Mika. Yeah. Hey, should we go get on our roller skates? Yes, I can't wait. Yeah. I'm disinfecting these skates. Whoa, oh. disinfecting? Ooh, can I see? Yes, you can. Whoa, check it out, disinfectant. Whoa, <laughs> that way it can get all of the germs out of the skates and keep them nice and clean. Yeah, so then they're not really stinky. <laughs> ew, ew. <laughs> Here you go, Pedro. Whoa. So we really want to go roller skating. What's the first thing we should do? We first need to figure out what size skate you wear. Oh. oh. Do you know your shoe size? Whoa! If you know your shoe size, that's your roller skate size. <laughs> yeah! Hey, do you have big sizes and small sizes? Or what size do you have? We have from toddler sizes. Oh, so cute! <laughs> very big sizes. Whoa! Whoa, check it out! This one's so small! Yeah, and this one's really big! Wow, <laughs> so cool! What's the largest size you have, Pedro? This is the largest one at a 16. Whoa! Up to 16, that's a lot of sizes! Yeah! <laughs> Will you count to 16 with us? Awesome! Yeah! One, two, two three, four, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 16! Yeah! Whoa! Ooh! I got these for you, Mika. Thank you! And these are for you, Blippi. Ooh! Thank you so much, Pedro! Yeah! Whoa! Shall we go put on our roller skates? Yes, I can't wait! Yeah, let's go! <laughs> Parts on this skate. Yeah, oh look. The wheel. Whoa, let's count them together. Okay. One, two, two three, four. four. Wow. Four wheels. So cool. What's this up front? Oh, this is the toe stop. It helps 
you break so you can stop. Wow, cool. Oh, and check this out. Yeah, it looks like we have some brown shoelaces. So then you can tighten it up around your foot so your foot doesn't fall out. Yep, nice, tight, and secure. Whoa, <laughs> and look, it kind of looks like a shoe, but it's not called a shoe. Yeah. It's called a boot. Yeah. <laughs> Woo, but before we go out and skate, we should probably get on our safety gear. Yeah, safety Oh, let's see. We have. Oh, oh look. What do you do? You do? Yep. Yeah. Wrist guards. Yeah, you put them on your wrists, and then it keeps your hands nice and safe. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. What do you have? Also have some elbow pads. Wow. Yep, they go right here on your elbow. All of these things will protect you in case you fall down. Yeah. Ooh. And these kind of look like elbow pads, but they're bigger. Yeah. These are actually for your knees. Yep. So then your knees are nice and protected. Whoa. <laughs> Ooh. And last but not least, helmets. Yeah. Whoa. Mine's the color blue. That's one of my two favorite colors. Yeah. <laughs> and I have all sorts of colors on here. Blue, pink, and orange. Your other favorite color. Oh, me. Well, shall we gear up so then we can roller skate? Yes, I can't wait! Yeah! Okay! Alright, let's go! Whoa, now we have our skates and our helmets on! We should probably put on our knee pads! <laughs> Ooh, maybe that's my helmet! Whoa, yeah they do! Whoa! Super fun. <laughs> All right, now that we have our safety gear on, let's go ride. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. 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 You Whoa. okay? Whoa. Yeah, I'm fine. Whoa. All right. Whoa. It's Whoa. Slippery. Whoa. Whoa. This is tricky. Here I go. Whoa. It is really. Oh. Whoa. 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 I almost fell. It's so slippery. Yeah, it is. Whoa. Whoa. We need to work on our balance. Oh no, I can't stop! Whoa. Watch Whoa. out! Whoa. Whoa. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay, Mika. Whoa! I'm glad you're wearing a helmet. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, all the safety gear really helps us stay safe. Yeah, Whoa. and it makes it less scary if you're gonna fall down. Yeah. Whoa. 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 You did? Do you yeah. need help up? Oh, sure, thank you. All right. Whoa. 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 Oh, thanks, Flippy. <laughs> You're welcome. Wow. wow. This is really hard, huh? Yeah, it's pretty tricky trying to keep your balance up here. Yeah, it is. Whoa. Whoa. Do you see that? Wow. Whoa. That's really good. Yeah. Whoa. Oh. Hi, guys. How are you? Pretty Hi. good. How are you? What's I'm doing really well. My, I'm Coach JC here with Moonlight Roller Way. Whoa. And I would like to teach both of you to skate better. Wow. If you're a coach, that means you must know a lot about roller skating. Just yeah. a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but let's get started. What I'd like to do is teach you first, see how you're losing your balance. Yeah. We want to get you both in the T position. So you're going to roll your skate behind. Put it in a T, and look, you can stand up nice and tall. Whoa. And hold your balance. Wow. So yeah, see? Yeah. And I noticed that you were just fall, and so yeah. let's see if we can go over that. Let's okay. go over okay. practice falling and getting back up. Wait, okay. we're gonna practice falling? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> awesome, so let's all sit down. Okay. We're gonna get down just like this. Okay. And the Whoa. first thing you always wanna do when you're on the ground is get your hands off the floor okay. so that no one can roll over them. Oh. So hands in the lap, okay. and then we're gonna roll over on two knees. Okay. So we're gonna go two knees down, and then we're gonna go one knee up, 
We're gonna take both hands, put it on that knee, and we're gonna look up because we're going up. We're gonna push straight up and look, we're gonna go right back into that T. We Whoa. just practiced. Wow! Now Mika, you can get up on your own if you fall again. Yeah, wow, thanks for teaching us that. No yeah. problem, that's great. So now, can you guys both say one, two, three, roll? Yeah. yeah. One, two, two three, three, roll! roll. Awesome, that means you can skate. Okay, what? so we're gonna put action to all those words you just said. Okay. So we're gonna now take our T and move it into a letter V. Letter and v. by putting a letter V with your skates, see how we can touch the back wheels? Yeah. Yep. We're gonna put our hands in front, we're gonna keep our knees bent, and we're gonna keep our hands nice and straight and our heads up. And we're gonna go one, two, three, roll. Okay, okay, let's do that together. All right, ready? Yep. One, two, three, roll! Whoa. See, and if you lose control, what's the letter we go right back to? The T. Oh. The letter? The T. T. That's gonna be your favorite letter today. <laughs> okay, so from the T, we're gonna go back to the B and we're gonna try rolling just a little bit further this time. All right. Ready? One, One two, two, three, three roll! roll. And we're gonna keep going, and this time, we're gonna try and put our heel back okay. and lift and get that toe stop into the surface. Oh, whoa, that See? was cool. We just stopped with the toe stop. We really just stopped. Toe stop, and now watch, to the T. To the T. Our favorite letter. And yeah. then we're gonna go right across, and we're gonna keep going with our marching and our hands strong in front. Whoa. One, two, three. One, two, three. three. Roll! Whoa. Wow, look how good your both are getting. Whoa. I'm we so excited. Getting, yeah, we are getting really good, huh, yeah, Mika? I feel much better about skating now. Whoa! Great job, you guys, and you're skating safely. Yeah! Whoa, look well, at us. shall we show us your stuff now? Yes. Yeah. You guys go on, enjoy your skate. All right. Thank you. Nice job. Yeah. for hooking us up with these awesome roller skates. Yeah. No problem. <laughs> yeah, it was really fun, and Mika did really good. Her balance is great. Aw, thanks, Blippi. You did really great, too. What a fun day. <laughs> Glad you guys had a good time. Yeah. Thanks. See you later, Pedro. Wow, that was so much fun. <laughs> we learned so many cool things today and really got to practice our balance and skating skills. Yeah, we did. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. If you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Mm -hmm. Will you spell my name with me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. B L I P P I. Blippi. <laughs> Good job. Wait, Mika, how do you spell your name? Oh, I'll tell you. It's M E P K A H. Mika. Wow. <laughs> wow, Mika. Hey, why don't we go on some more fun field trips together soon? Yes, I would love to. Yeah,
and today I'm at Sky Zone Trampoline Park in Anaheim, California. And I'm so excited because guess what's inside? Trampolines! Have you ever been on a trampoline before? They're so fun, you can jump and bounce really, really high. Have you ever wondered what makes something bounce? <laughs> Me too. Let's go inside and find out. Come on. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm good, I'm Mika. I'm Quincy, it's nice to meet you, Mika. Hey Quincy, nice to meet you too. Ah, so what can I do for you today, Mika? Well, I really want to play on some things that are bouncy and I hear there are a lot of trampolines here. Oh, we have so many trampolines here today. Nice. But first, we have to pick from an assortment of wristbands. Whoa, look at all of these colors. I see orange, green, yellow, red, blue, and pink. Hmm, I think I'm gonna choose the yellow one. It's one of my favorite colors. I got you right here, Mika. Okay. Thank you. Ooh. <laughs> What else do I need? And next you get to pick between these two socks right here. Whoa, check out these socks. They have grips on the bottom. Why are there grips on these socks? There's grips on the socks just to prevent you from slipping on the bouncy trampolines. Oh, good idea. Oh, and there's also blue and black and pink socks. I think I'm gonna go with the orange. These are super cool. So I have my wristband and my socks. And I know that there are trampolines here, but is there anything else that you have that's really bouncy? It's funny that you ask. I got a whole picture of bouncy balls right here. Whoa, look at this. There's so many. This will be the perfect way to experiment with why and how things bounce. Thanks, yes, Quincy. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> it's so much fun to bounce. Whoa. <laughs> Wow, have you ever bounced on a trampoline before? It's so fun. And check this out. If you push down on a trampoline like this, see how it goes down? But if you don't do anything, it goes back to being flat. That's called elasticity. <laughs> and that's what makes it so fun to bounce on a trampoline. <laughs> wow. Let's check out all of these different kinds of balls and see how they bounce. All right, let's see. We have a squishy orange ball here. Whoa! And look at this one. It's orange too, but it's smaller. Kind of looks like a ball pit ball. Oh, it's nice and light. I wonder how this one bounces. Oh, see ya! <laughs> Ooh, I love these. They're bouncy balls. <laughs> this is a nice green. Okay, ready? Oh, yeah, let me try again. <laughs> Here's another bouncy ball. Whoa, nice job, bouncy ball. <laughs> Let's see what happens if we bounce the balls and I bounce at the same time. <laughs> hey, this, whoo. Seems like a really fun space to play a game where you can bounce and throw these balls. Huh. If only I had some friends to play a game with. <laughs> oh, hey! Do you wanna play a game with me? I would love to, Mika. Oh, awesome! But I got a friend with me as well. Oh, hey! This is Priscilla. Hi. Hi, Priscilla, I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. So, do you want to play a little catch on these trampolines I and with would, these bouncy balls? I would love to play some catch, Mika. Okay. Yeah, me too. Oh, let's do it. Everyone grab a ball. Get one over here. Oh, I know. What if we threw and caught the ball? So we can throw to each other and catch at the same time. I Makes like sense? That. I like that idea. I like okay, that. let's count to three. All right, ready? One, two, three. Whoa, we did it, nice. Did you do it again? Yes. All right, one, two, three. <gasps> awesome. One, two, three. Nice. Awesome. Whoa, I'm feeling nice and warm now. Me too. Whoa, what else can we play? We could play dodgeball. Ooh, dodgeball. How do you play dodgeball? Dodgeball is very simple. Hit or be hit. 
Oh, hit or be hit. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Don't be nervous. It's real simple. All you got to do is duck, dodge, and throw the ball. Oh, I got you. Okay, so we're going to try and throw the ball to hit the other people, but you don't want to get hit. You want to dodge and get out of the way, right? Exactly. Okay. <laughs> I'm feeling ready. Are you? I think so. I hope you're ready. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Me. Of course, Mika. Thank you for having us. Yeah, this was so fun. So much fun. <laughs> Woo! See you later. So, we learned that things bounce because of elasticity. Woo! And it's really important to get our bodies warmed up and stretched really good so we can be stretchy and bendy like elastic so we don't get hurt. And I really want to try an obstacle course. So can you help me stretch and move my body so I can get warmed up and ready to go? Yes, of course. Let's okay. get ready for this obstacle course. Yes. Okay. Alrighty, so the first exercise we're gonna do, we're gonna put our arms like this. Okay. And we're gonna do a nice twist. Nice twist. All right, we're gonna switch arms again. Okay. Another big twist. Perfect. Okay, now we're gonna reach for the floor. Whoa. Whoa. And we're gonna hold it for three seconds. All right, one, one two. two. Three. Perfect. <laughs> Another big stretch. Whoa. Ready? One, One two, two, three. Perfect. Do you have Ooh. any other stretches that we could do? Hmm. Yeah. How about we grab our foot? You have to have really good balance and stretch your leg Ooh. that way. All right. <laughs> like <Ooh>. flamingos. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. Try your other foot. All right. The other one. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> it's a little wobbly on this Whoa. one. Okay, perfect. Ooh, my legs feel nice and warm. Ready? My arms are stretched out. I think I'm ready for the obstacle course. All right, perfect. I hope you have fun. Thank you so much. All right. See you soon. See ya.
Let's do our best moves and dance around the room. When the drums are going boom, boom, boom. Get ready. Warm up now. Can you dance with me? One, two, three. Do the butt, baby. Bump on your toes. Yeah, tip top. Move your feet to the beat. And don't stop. Let me be. Bump on your toes. Yeah, tip top. Move your feet to the beat. And don't stop. fun learning about how and why certain things bounce. <laughs> we got to see all different kinds of balls bounce really high and some bounce really low and I had fun bouncing too. <laughs> I hope you continue to learn with me. If you want to learn some more, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye. Me, Mika, and today I'm at Play Day in Brooklyn, New York. Today is all about fashion and style, which I love because fashion helps you express your personality. Check out my outfit. I have two of my favorite colors, purple and yellow. Oh, and I love accessories like my jam pack and my watch. And because today is really sunny, I have one of my favorite accessories, sunglasses. Hello. <laughs> I feel so cool in my sunglasses. And I heard I get to put more things on my outfit inside. Come with me. Hi, I'm Mika. What's your name? Hi, Mika. Nice to meet you. My name is Laura. Welcome to Play Day. Oh, thank you. What kind of things can I do here? Oh, we have so many awesome classes. You can do painting, sculpture, cartooning, architecture, and fashion design. <gasps> fashion design, that's what I'm interested in. I wanna add some things to my outfit. Great, so the first thing we can do is start with a mood board. Have you ever made a mood board? Yeah, I've made a mood board before. A mood board is a board of pictures and colors and words that inspire you. Okay, great, so let's get started. Follow right, me. Come on. Wow, this is a big board. Well, Mika, this is your mood board and here are all the materials that you can use. And here is your apron. <gasps> Thank you so much. So have fun and I'll come check on you in a bit. Okay, thanks, see you soon. Whoop. Oh, I'm so excited to make this mood board. Okay, let's see what we have. <gasps> Whoa. Look at all of these colorful balls. Ooh, those are really fun. There's some paint. Hmm, what should I start with? Crowns, oh, I'm gonna start with purple, one of my favorite colors. Hello again. Hey, what do you think? It looks great. Can you tell me a little about what you made? Sure, I'd love to. So I put the word confident on here because confident is the feeling I feel when I wear this outfit. And I have music notes because I love to sing and dance. And I have a big purple M because M is the first letter of my name, Mika. And it's purple, one of my favorite colors. I think we're ready for our next step. I think we have enough inspiration, so. We should do a sketch now. Oh, a sketch. I know what that is because I'm such a planner. Fashion designers will use a sketch to help them plan what they want to make. Okay, so let's go. Follow All right, me. Come on. Wow, this is cool. So one way to make a sketch is by tracing your body on the chalkboard. And then, based on your mood board, you can add all the elements that you want to put on your garment. Wow, what a good idea! Okay, Mika, can you please lean against the chalkboard? Oh, yeah. Thank you. All right. Yeah, for fashion designers, it's super helpful to plan and sketch out a idea or design before you make something. Ooh. <laughs> all right, how's it looking? 
I can't wait to see. Okay, Mika. Ready? Yes. All right. <gasps> yes, I love it. I'm feeling inspired already. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you can add the elements to your design and I will meet you at the sewing station. Okay, see you there. Bye. Thank you. Okay, so first I think I'm gonna draw the outfit I'm wearing right now. So what am I wearing? What do you see? Yeah, my purple t-shirt. So let me find some purple here. Whoa, look how big this chalk is. It looks like a potato. <laughs> All right, so let's see. T-shirt, short sleeves. Okay, that. All right, I'm gonna color it in. And do you notice anything else on my purple shirt? Yeah, I have some yellow on there. Whoa, look at this piece of chalk. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do some yellow here on the sleeves. And yellow here. And where else is there yellow? Up here, around my neck there. Some yellow. And I have a yellow pocket. <laughs> right side. Ooh. Okay. What else do I have? Purple shirt and my jeans. Okay, I'll use the color blue. All right, and you can see a little bit of my ankle, so I'm gonna cut them down here so I have room for my shoes. I'm gonna color them in blue. Okay. Blue jeans, my purple shirt, and oh, my accessories. I have a compass watch that's purple and yellow. So I'm gonna use this purple again. And let's see. There's yellow on it too. Oh, I'm feeling like such a little designer. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can copy it. Little yellow there. There's a little yellow there. And the rest is purple. And there's a white circle in the middle. Can you see it? It's really tiny. Okay. That. And then check out my bracelets. There's blue, yellow, purple, orange. Wow, that's a lot of different colors. So we get some purple on there. Blue and ooh, a little orange. Okay, and yellow. Awesome. And oh, speaking of yellow, I have a yellow bow in my hair. Oh, I should draw my hair. It's brown and curly. Can't really tell what color this is. Let's find out. Ooh, look at those curls. Go on, Mika! Woo! Okay, okay. And then I'll put my yellow ribbon here. Mika, you look amazing. All right, and I have some white and purple and yellow ugh, shoes. Okay. Whoa. Okay, some shoes. And hmm, I feel like something is missing. I have my bow, my shirt, my jeans, my accessories. <gasps> my jam pack! Oh, I forgot my super fun jam pack. Okay, let's see. I need blue and orange. And there's a white circle in the middle. Hmm, just like my compass watch. Okay, so I need orange and blue, and I'll use this black to draw the strap, and then the big circle. Okay, so there's blue on top, 
and blue on the bottom. These two are orange. And there's the white button in the middle. Okay, yes, she's looking great. <laughs> okay, so I wanna add something, I think, to my shirt. There was something on my mood board that got me really excited. Do you know what it is? It's the letter M for Mika. I think it would look so cool if there was a purple letter M right there on my pocket. So let's see if I'm right. Oh, it's kind of hard to see. Yes, yes, that's what I want. The letter M sewn onto my shirt. That way my outfit will look super complete. And I think I'll just add some little bedazzle here in my bag for fun. And I forgot my face. <laughs> All right, the eyes, the nose, and a giant smile. Twins. <laughs> All right, let's go over to the sewing station so I can get my M put on my shirt. Come on. Hey. Hi, Mika. I'm so excited to be at the sewing station. Welcome. I have the sewing kit ready for you. <gasps> Did you decide what to do with your design? Yes, I'm so excited. I want to add a purple M to my shirt. That's great. So I'm going to give you another shirt so you can change. Oh, cool. All right, thanks. I'll be right back. OK, I'm back. Hi, Mika. Hi, thank you for the shirt. You're welcome. <laughs> so I have my shirt here ready for the letter M. That's great. So first thing we're going to do is talk about the materials that oh. we will be using. Yeah, there's a lot here. So for sewing, we use needles, mm -hmm. plastic needles for kids, and sharp needles for adults. Whoa. So make sure that you have a grown-up with you when you're using those sharp needles. Yeah, good idea. We also use thread and scissors. Oh, so needles, thread, and scissors. Got it. Perfect. So to thread the needle, we're going to pass the yarn or thread through the eye of the needle. Oh, oh, I bet the eye is right here on top. That is correct. See that opening? Ooh, that <laughs> looks kind of difficult. <laughs> so don't worry, I have a trick for it. Okay. You can fold your yarn, mm -hmm. so that way it's easier to pass through the needle. Oh, smart, okay. Perfect. So next, you're going to choose the color that you're going to use. Hmm. There are a lot of great colors. Oh, I think I want to use orange. I love this color. <laughs> Perfect. So now we're going to cut the thread. Okay. To measure, you hold it with your fingertips. Where's the end? What there it is. <laughs> <laughs> and then pull it to your elbow. Okay. Ooh. And that's a perfect size to start. Nice. You want to cut it? Yes. Team work. Perfect. Love it. So now we're going to make a knot on one of the ends of our thread. Can you make a knot here? Yes, perfect. And we're going to call that the tail. Whoop. Got a little tail. And now you can thread your needle. Okay, should I try your trick? Yes. Okay, just like the professionals do it. <laughs> I'm going to be very careful because the end of this needle is sharp. <laughs> so close. Oh, oh, oh. That's fine. I can do it for you. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's really tricky to do. Yes. It's okay. It takes practice. I have to practice more. All right. Nice. <laughs> Thanks for your help. You're welcome. So now you can start sewing. Another tip is that you hold both the needle and the thread when you're stitching. Oh. That way the thread will stay in the needle. Got it. Okay. Oh, I don't have the letter M. <laughs> no worries. I have it ready for you right here. <gasps> wow. It's exactly what I had in mind. Look, it's purple, one of my favorite colors. Oh, thank you so much for making this. You're welcome. Okay, so... I think I want it to look like this. Hold it up so you can see it. What do you think? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So cute. Okay, so hold both the needle and the thread and 
You're gonna watch my fingers here because it's really sharp. And just poke a hole. And then pull the needle through, right? Yes. Okay. Make sure you pass all the thread through. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Good job. I did it. My first stitch. <laughs> okay. And then go back through. Yes. Okay. Jeez, it's harder than it looks. Hi. <laughs> right. Okay, look, it's starting to stay on the shirt. Good job. Now you secure your M. Okay. Thank and you. You can add a few more stitches. Okay. Let's see, maybe I'll do one here. Okay. The final stitch. All right, now what do I do? Well, now we can cut the excess thread. I can okay. help you. <gasps> thank you. I can take the needle. Oh, thank you. Be careful. Yes. All right. <gasps> I can't believe I just did that all by myself. Great job, Mika. Thank you. What do you think? I love it. Oh, thank you so much for helping me today. You're welcome. I hope you had a good time and keep practicing everything you learned today. I will, thank you. Okay, thank you, Mika. See you Bye. later. Bye. <gasps> okay, I can't wait to put this on. See you soon. <gasps> Check it out. The letter M is on my shirt and I think it looks really good. <gasps> I love it. Now my outfit is complete. Oh, and I have one more thing for fun. For my jam pack. Ooh, nice. <laughs> I had such a fun day. I got to make a mood board, a sketch, and I sewed my very own M on my shirt. This was so cool. And what's cool about fashion and style is you can express yourself through your clothes and accessories. <laughs> Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> all right, I'll see you later. Hey, it's me, Mika. Today, I'm at a very cool place called Lost World's Myth and Magic in Las Vegas, Nevada. <gasps> Whoa! That was a magical moment. Hmm. Do you see those statues? Let's go check them out. Wait, you're not a statue. <laughs> Hello, my lady. I am Sir Adam of the Kingdom of Lost Worlds. Hello, Sir Adam. I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. And Mika, I have a mystical quest. Can you please help me with it? Oh, yeah. The baby dragons of the kingdom have escaped. Can you please help us find them? Of course. Here's a scroll with your instructions. <gasps> Whoa. <gasps> OK, we have to find these baby dragons. There's a blue one, a green one, a purple and a red dragon. Will you help me find them? Great. <laughs> Do I have everything I need for my mythical quest? All you need is your Lost World safety socks. Oh. And remember to follow the dragon footprints to help you find the babies. Great. Follow the dragon footprints. OK, let's go. Thank you. You're welcome. <gasps> Whoa. Check out this castle. <laughs> there are lots of places for a baby dragon to hide here. Oh, we're going to find you, baby dragon. Oh, look at these trees. Whoa, they're so tall. Let's count how many trees there are. One. <laughs> two. Oh, and look, I see another forest. Check it out. This is a cylinder. Oh, hey, you know what else is shaped like a cylinder? <laughs> yeah, tree trunks. <laughs> wow, this is a very enchanted forest. <laughs> and look, a bridge. Whoa. OK, let's go over the bridge like a knight on a horse. Ready? Whoa. Do you see that hot scotch? <laughs> yeah. I have an idea. Let's hop on the orange numbers. Do you know which ones are the orange numbers? <laughs> yeah, two and six. Okay, let's hop away. Yeah, 
<laughs> Whoa, a boat. Let's get inside. I like sailing with my best friends, being brave and flying dragons. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, let's keep going. Look, a whole herd of horses. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna press the red button, see what happens next. Whoa, here we go. <laughs> Check it out! Do you see what I see? <laughs> yeah! Dragon footprints! Wow! Let's count how many there are. One, two, three! Three footprints! Hmm, let's look at our scroll. What does it say? <gasps> Follow the footprints to find where the baby dragon's lair is. <laughs> it must be that way. Let's go. <laughs> hey, there are more footprints. We must be getting closer. Whoa, I bet the baby dragon is in there. <gasps> Let's go for a swim and find our first baby dragon. Okay, ready? Splash! <laughs> okay, let's swim. <laughs> oh! Check it out! We found a baby dragon! <laughs> and it's blue, just like this ball pit. Awesome! We did it! Great job! Okay, baby dragon, let's go find your other friend. <laughs> oh, this quest is getting so exciting! Let's keep finding baby dragon. <laughs> hey! There's a dragon right there. No, but not the baby dragons we're looking for. But look at this. More cylinders. Ooh. This looks like a skyscraper. <laughs> Whoa. peek I see you. Whoa. Check this out over here. Flights! Oh, and inner tubes too. Let's count the inner tubes. One, two, three. And they're so colorful. Do you know what these colors are? Yes, yellow and blue. <laughs> Whoa, and look, more dragon footprints. I wonder where they lead. I know, I'll get a tube and slide down. This is gonna be so fun. Here we go. Three, two, one, go! Woo! <laughs> that was so fun. <laughs> hey, what's that? Whoa! I think we just found our next dragon! Hi, baby dragon! Look! We found the red dragon! Awesome job! Okay, let's go look for more of its friends! Whoa! This room is so cool! And look! More dragon footprints! Yep, we must be headed in the right direction. Wow, check it out. Boxes. Hmm, I wonder if there are any dragons inside. <laughs> Let's count the boxes. One, two, three. Three boxes. <gasps> I know. Let's make a beat. Dragons, come out and play. We've been looking all day. Dragons, come out and play. Don't be afraid, it'll be okay. <laughs> Whoa, <gasps> let's head up this ramp. <laughs> wow, this whole room is purple. One of my favorite colors. 
Let's ask this dragon for help. Excuse me, have you seen any baby dragons? No, okay, thanks anyway. <laughs> Maybe they're over here. Let's search far and wide. Hmm, dragons? Nope, let's keep exploring. Ooh, maybe over here. Hello, baby dragons, where are you? <laughs> Check it out, more footprints. Let's see where they lead. Hey, we found the purple dragon. <laughs> Three dragons found, one more to go. Whoa, an obstacle course. And it's in a forest. Let's pretend to be in a forest looking for our last dragon. Look, this is our first obstacle. Have to make it across the river. Okay, let's get in our boat. Whoa, we made it to land. And look. There's a big forest wall to get over. Whoa. Hmm, how do I get on top? Oh, here we go. Yeah, we made it. Oh, there's some more water waves though. Let's fly down. Whoa. Check it out. Some vines. Let's take a swing on these vines. Oh, let's keep going. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Whoa, check out these logs. Hmm, I wonder how we'll make it to the other side. Oh, I'll go under. I got it. Let's pretend to be squirrels in a forest. <laughs> Whoa, check out these rings. Woo <laughs> Whoa, this is a great forest adventure, friend. And look, I think I see dragon footprints ahead. Yeah, we found some more footprints. Okay, let's see if there's a dragon on the other side. Excuse me. <laughs> Whoa. <gasps> Excuse me. <laughs> oh, another mountain. Let's give it a climb. Climb, 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 climb. <laughs> hey. <gasps> Check it out. We found our last dragon. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's check our scroll to make sure we have all four dragons. Let's see. Mm-hmm, we have blue, and purple, and red, and green. Great job, friends. We did it, we did it. We never, ever quit it. We did it. Great job. Sir Adam, we did it. We found all the baby dragons. Oh, wonderful. You have finally returned them and completed your magical quest, which has earned you the right to become a knight. Oh, whoa, did you hear that? We're knights now. <laughs> yeah. Five, six, seven, eight. It's time to celebrate. Woohoo! we did it. <laughs> Bye, Sir Adam. Bye, Knight Mika. Bye, baby dragon. <laughs> Wow, that was such a magical adventure. I had so much fun looking at those dragon footprints and finding all the colorful baby dragons. We played in a ball pit, went down a slide, and threw a night's obstacle course. <laughs> Great job. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? M-E-E. -E. K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> okay, Knights, see you later. <laughs> hey, it's 
me, Mika. And today I'm at the Columbia Memorial Space Center in Downey, California. Can you guess what this is? It's a real capsule. Mm-hmm, and today we're going to be astronauts and create a capsule of our own. Are you ready? Okay, blast off! I'm so excited to be in a shadow today and be an astronaut. Do you know what an astronaut is? An astronaut is a person that goes up into outer space to study the moon and stars and planets too. I got it. Would you like to be an astronaut with me? <laughs> Great. All right, let me dial Mission Control. Mission Control, it's Commander Meeker here. Mm-hmm, my astronaut buddies and I are ready for takeoff. <gasps> All right, counting down in three, two, one. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> wow! <laughs> I can see so many stars and planets. I can see Mercury, and Venus, and Earth, and Mars, and Jupiter, Uranus, Saturn, and Neptune. <laughs> wow. <gasps> Did you know the sun is a star? <laughs> I know, so cool. Okay, let's go park and explore. <laughs> wow, check it out. It's a real spacesuit, just like astronauts wear when they go on moonwalks in space. <laughs> it's white with red accents. Oh, and the material is really, really tough to protect astronauts when they're in space. And look at this helmet. This is so astronauts can breathe oxygen out in space. I want to get inside. Come on. Hi, I'm an astronaut. <laughs> wow. Oh, an asteroid. <laughs> I can see so many stars and planets up here. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. I have a flight suit of my own. <laughs> I'm astronaut Mika and I'm ready to explore space. Are you ready? Vroom, 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 zoom, 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 let's go! This is a robotics lab. This is where scientists called engineers code a rover. A rover is a big truck that moves along a planet's surface and takes pictures of rocks and dirt. And the cool thing is it's controlled by a scientist on Earth. That way, they can learn about what a planet is like. Come on, let's go code a rover. Coding the rover means I'm planning out how it'll move on the planet. <laughs> okay, I'm setting up this rover to take lots of pictures of Mars and pick up a rock. Okay, now that it's set, let's place it on the table. <gasps> Whoa, this rover reminds me of an excavator. It picks up rocks instead of dirt, though. Here we go. Okay, let's hope the rover picks up this rock. Here we go. Oh, not quite. Let's try again. Here we go. Ready? <laughs> Yay, we did it. We taught the rover how to pick up a rock. Now, scientists can use these rocks to discover different things about the planet, like how big it is, how old it is, and what can survive there. <laughs> cool, let's go. This is where we can build our own capsule, just like Apollo 11. Let's get our supplies. First, we'll need two pieces of black yarn. One, two. Next, we need a cardboard capsule. Then 
we need a sheet of tissue paper. <gasps> there are lots of different colors in here, but I'm gonna pick yellow, just like my headband. A capsule is a piece of the rocket that the astronauts use to come back to Earth in. We're punching some holes in there. Awesome! Two holes punched in our capsule. Now we'll punch some holes in our tissue paper. One hole. And two. Awesome! Next, we'll take our black yarn and we'll loop it through the holes. Oh, I bet my best friend Blippi and I would have a great time in one of these. <laughs> I love traveling through space with my best friend. Okay. <laughs> okay, one last step. Take our silver handle and put tape it on top. Now I need two pieces of tape. One. Awesome. Two. Now we have our capsule and we're ready to launch. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. <gasps> Oh, that was awesome! We did it, we did it, we never ever quit it, we did it! Awesome! Safe landing! That was cool! <laughs> All right, Mission Control, we did it! We went all the way into outer space and now we're safe back on planet Earth. We were really busy exploring space, and when it was time to come back to Earth, we landed safely in our parachutes. I just want to thank all the scientists for their hard work, and I especially want to thank my best friend, Blippi, for always believing in me and my mission. <laughs> now let's go see what other things we can make fly through the air. Come on! Check it out, an airplane building station. That's right, airplanes fly through the air too. Okay, I'll start with a sheet of paper and then I'll fold it in half. Paper airplanes help us understand how real airplanes fly through the sky. Oh look, I just made a triangle, see? <laughs> Triangles have three sides. All right, fold it one more time. And another time on this side. And look, we have an airplane. Woo! Whoa! Let's go! Oh, we made it to the launching pad. The shape of the wings is what makes it possible for an airplane to fly. When the wings are flat and then curved at the end, air pressure can sit on top of the plane, which makes it possible to fly through the air. <gasps> okay, let's make sure our launching pad is lined up just right. There we go. So we'll put the plane here and we'll push this green button in three, two, one. Oh, wow, look at that airplane go. <laughs> Check it out, I'm in a science lab. Astronauts are scientists too. That's because they do experiments when they're exploring on the moon. An experiment is when you try something new to see what will happen. Sometimes you need a parent or an adult to help you. <gasps> I've got it, let's do an experiment and learn together. Will you help me with my ooey gooey experiment? <laughs> Great. Let's start off with a quarter cup of water. Splash. And then we'll add a quarter cup of sticky, ooey, gooey glue. 
Now we'll have to take our popsicle stick and stir, stir, stir. Stir, 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 stir it up. Stir up that glue. Stir, 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 stir it up. I love to experiment with you. <laughs> okay, we got our get our glue and water all mixed in. Wow, this is so cool. Okay, we're ready to add our glitter. And guess what? It's my favorite color, purple. Wow, so pretty. Looks very stellar. <laughs> okay, we have our purple glitter, and now we're gonna add a quarter cup of starch. And that'll make it extra, extra sticky. Wow. Do you see it? It's forming in one big lump. Wow. Oh, okay, I think it's almost ready. I think we're ready to touch it. Ooh, it's so sticky and ooey gooey. <laughs> I've got it. I'll name my slime hmm, Lunar Slime. <laughs> Thank you so much for exploring space with me today. We wore a spacesuit, we coated a rover, and we created our own capsule and watched it float back down to Earth. That was cool. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> all right, see you later. Bye-bye. It's me, Mika, and today I'm at the El Sereno Community Garden in Los Angeles, California. Here, people come together from the community to practice gardening together. Oh, I bought some food scraps from home to compost. Have you ever composted before? <laughs> That's sort of like when you recycle to protect our earth. Mm -hmm. And the best part, we get to go digging in the dirt. Ready? Come on, let's go. Whoa, look at these colorful signs. Oh, they're greetings in different languages, welcoming us to the garden. Aw, oh, thank you, signs. It's a pleasure to be here. Wow, check out all these plants. <laughs> there are too many to even count. And look, they're all in the dirt. That's where they get their nutrients, from the soil. Do you know what other nutrients plants need to grow? That's right, sunlight and <sighs> fresh air and lots of water. You can water them yourself or sometimes when it rains, they get plenty of water so you don't have to. Oh, plants need lots of space to grow too. Oh, this garden looks very spacious, which means there's plenty of space for plants to grow. <laughs> okay, friends, let's keep exploring. Hey, I'm Mika, nice to meet ya. Hi, Mika, I'm Erica. Welcome to the El Sereno Community Garden in Otsunga, the place of the roses. Nice. In the Tongva language, can you say Otsunga? Otsunga. Nice. <laughs> uh, are you here to compost? Yes, I am. Perfect. I have my eggshells and my avocado and my banana peels. Excellent. <laughs> uh, let me show you Great. Uh, what to do. And on the LA compost method of uh, composting, there's three boxes. You uh -huh. add. Uh, your food scraps here, and then you put a layer of browns, uh, which is dry leaves or mulch, mm -hmm. on top of your kitchen scraps, okay. which are your greens, mm -hmm. even though the banana's not green. <laughs> but, no, those but, are yellow. <laughs> <laughs> and so you put greens and browns, greens and browns, and you make sure the brown layer stays on top. Mm -hmm. And then once it gets filled, you move it to the next one, and then you shift it and add water, 
and then you move it to the next one and then you shift it and you add, add water <laughs> and then at the end it looks like this whoa check it out so the compost pile when it's ready to sift mm -hmm. you look if you look inside there's bugs and worms and oh. roly polies oh, yes. and everywhere. What do the bugs do? They decompose the soil, the matter, the brown matter, oh. and make it into fertile soil. Mm, decomposing means you break something down. So once it's finished breaking down, uh -huh. we take a handful and we bring it to the sifter. And then the, the sifter, you take out the big brown things that don't fill through the holes. Mm -hmm. And then you keep the worms. If you find any worms, uh -huh. you uh, put them back. Oh, put them back. Hello, Because worm. they're our friends. <laughs> and then we put them back in the soil so they can continue making soil. And uh, the one that's sifted that goes through is ready to plant to plant new plants. Oh, awesome. I'm gonna go plant on the other side of the garden. You wanna join me later when you're finished composting? Sure. I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Okay, here I go. Our earth is a wonderful host. I love to help her through compost. We'll compost this and we'll compost that with some food and plant scraps. Whoa, awesome. Okay, let's head over to this big pile of dirt. Scoop up some dirt and maybe some worms too. Okay, three, two, one, sift off. Sift, sift, sift. Oh, check out these worms. Did you know earthworms have taste buds all over their bodies? <laughs> Okay. Wow. Let's go find Erica to see if she needs help planting. <gasps> I've got it. Let's wiggle over like a worm. Ready, worms? Here we go. Wiggle, wiggle, squish, squish. Hi, Erica. Hi, Mika. <laughs> what are you planting? I'm planting some hummingbird sage, some narrow leaf milkweed, and some lettuce. Oh, I'd like to help. Yes. Did you bring the compost? Oh, yes. It's right here. Perfect. You're going to need it. <laughs> so you make a hole, but the size of the roots and the size of your fist, you take the plant out of the pot and be careful with the roots. Look at that. Oh, look at all those roots. And you plant them nice and gentle in the hole, and then you give a nice warm hug with the compost. There we go, little plant. These are for the pollinators. Oh, I know what that is. That's when certain animals fly from plant to plant. The pollen gets on their body, then they fly to the other plant, and it helps the plants grow. Do you know what kind of animals are pollinators? That's right. Buzz, buzz, buzz. <laughs> Bees and hummingbirds and butterflies and bats too. That's right, and you wanna know what else is a pollinator? I'll give you a hint. They're red and black. Can you guess what a pollinator is? Ladybug? That's right, look, there's one right here. Oh, look at that ladybug. <gasps> so sweet. <laughs> Did you know ladybugs are male as well? Mm-hmm, despite the name, they're male and female. In you go. Thank you. How about here? Now that I'm done planting, I'd like to try something else. Oh, can we harvest? Yes, you can. You can harvest whatever is ready and ripe. Ready and ripe, got it. <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh. I have a plan. Let's gather up some fruits and vegetables for a salad. Oh, these would be great. Check it out. These are Filipino limes. They're ready when they're yellow instead of green. <laughs> okay, lime, let's go. Here we go. We have two limes. <laughs> Ooh, flowers. 
<gasps> wow, look at this tree. Wonder what it is. Oh, I know. It's guava. <laughs> you can tell a fruit is ripe if it falls to the ground. That means we're ready. <laughs> Get some guava for our salad. Mmm, that smells good. Okay, let's find some more food for our salad. Yum! Cocoa plum. Let's pick one for our salad. <laughs> Look, it's so little. And it's one of my favorite colors. Purple. <laughs> Check it out over here. <gasps> I see another fruit. <laughs> Can you guess what it is? That's right, it's a watermelon. Wow, I've never seen one this small before. This will be delicious in my salad. Ooh, an orange tree. But these oranges aren't quite ready. You know how I know? <laughs> yeah, they're still green, not ripe yet. Okay, oranges, I'll see you later when you're ready. Look, <laughs> a really big cactus. This can go into a salad, but no thank you, cacti. I think I'll move on. Yummy, strawberries. Should we put strawberries in our salad? <laughs> yeah. One strawberry, two strawberries. Hmm. <gasps> Oh, check it out. Kale. I would like some of this for my salad, too. <laughs> I know. Let's make a salad for Erica to thank her for showing us this lovely garden. Here we go. Hello, Erica. Hi, Mika. We made you a delicious salad. Yummy, what's in it? We have watermelon and guava and strawberry and kale. Yummy, I'm gonna <laughs> have it for lunch. <laughs> Mika, can you help me with one more thing? Yes, I'm happy to help. I need to spread seeds out uh, so we can uh, harvest some flowers. This is Arroyo Lupin, it's beautiful purple bloom. Mm. Oh, that's one of my favorite colors. Now, when we spread the seeds, we have to sing to them, twinkle, twinkle, little star, because we believe the seeds are the stars of the earth. Oh. Can you help me? Yes. Perfect, roll out your hand. I'm gonna give you some seeds. Thank you. And we'll get seeds and we'll start singing and wishing them love. You ready? Yes. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Whoa, that was Thank so fun. Thank you, Mika. Thank you. Yes, you're Come so back welcome. anytime. Okay, bye bye. 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 That was awesome. We did a great job composting with those worms, planting in a garden, and harvesting some yummy fruit and vegetables for a salad. What a great, beautiful day. I hope you had fun too. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> okay, friend, see you later. Bye-bye! Hi, it's me, Mika, and today we are at Southern Hill Farms in Claremont, Florida. This farm is so cool because they grow flowers and they grow fruit. So today I want to pick some blueberries, make blueberry lemonade, and find some beautiful sunflowers. I love sunflowers because they're yellow, one of my favorite colors. Come with me. that you can use to collect the blueberries in once they're picked. 
<laughs> That's so fun. Oh, come down here, look at this. <laughs> Have you ever seen sand on a farm before? <laughs> yeah, you might not expect sand at a farm. But this sand that's really soft and fine, it's called sugar sand. And it's really helpful for the blueberries. With this sand, the water can drain quickly, which is super important because blueberries do not grow in a lot of water. So this sand's really fun to play with and touch, but it's really important for the blueberries. So I'll just leave that there. <laughs> do you want to pick blueberries with me? Let's go. Take a look at this. It's a blueberry bush or a shrub. Here, come a little closer. See, there's whoop, a stem and the leaves. And look, the fruit, the best part. So see how some of these berries, they're different colors. There's kind of a purple, a blue and a green. Do you know which berry is ripe? <laughs> That's right, this one, the blue one. Those are the ones that you wanna pick. And ripe means that it's fully grown and ready to eat. <laughs> They're so cute. <gasps> I know, we could pick 20 ripe blueberries. Will you count with me? Cool. So we have one, Hmm. Oh, here's another one. Two. Whoop, there's one down here. Three. Four. Almost there. 17. 18. 19. 20. 20 ripe blueberries. Thanks for counting with me. See, you can pick them off of the bush or you can pick them up off the ground as long as they're nice, blue, and ripe. <laughs> oh. This is gonna be really good in my blueberry lemonade. You can do all sorts of things with blueberries. What do you like to do with blueberries? You could make jam or jelly for a blueberry and peanut butter sandwich, or you can make a smoothie, blueberry pancakes, cupcakes, parfaits, juice. There's so much you can do with blueberries. <sighs> Should we keep looking at blueberries? All right, cool. Let's go over there, there's more. blueberry shrub. See, it's much smaller than the other plants we saw, but one day it's gonna grow nice and big and full and have a ton of blueberries on it. You'll notice on the young plants, they have little flowers, see? <laughs> so cute. Oh, I see another ripe blueberry. Here, take a look. See how it kind of looks white on the outside? That's called bloom. And bloom is like a sunblock for blueberries. It protects it against the sun so the blueberries don't get too much sun. <gasps> Check it out, a really big yellow slide. Oh, I have to go down. We put my blueberries down so I don't spill any and I'm nice and safe. Come on. Whoa, I get it. You use the potato sack to go down the slide. See, you put your feet in here in the bottom, get situated, and then you woo, woo, woo. <laughs> oh, look at this. You must be this tall to ride alone. All others must ride with an adult. All right, let's see. Uh, I think I'm tall enough to ride alone. <laughs> let's check it out. 
Hey. <gasps> Whoa, it's really high up. This is quite the climb. This slide is gonna be awesome. Look how high we are. You can see the entire farm. <laughs> okay, only slide feet first. Okay, that was my plan anyway. All right, so you lay your potato sack down like this. You sit down and feet first. Feet will go in this little pocket here. <gasps> okay, do you wanna watch me slide all the way down to the bottom? All right, see you there. <laughs> Three, two, one, slide! Whoa! 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 <laughs> that was so fast! That was awesome! <laughs> all right, let's put this over here. And <gasps> my blueberries! Oh, there they are. All right, come on, blueberries. And you come too, there's more fun things to do. Oh, check it out, it's a carousel. Have you ever been on a carousel before? <laughs> well, let's go. Blueberries down and go for a ride. Hmm. Oh, I love this horse. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at this yellow hair. Oh, one of my favorite colors. All right, I'm ready, horse. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, on the other side. Gets to a complete stop before you get off the horse. That's the safest thing to do. And we're stop. <laughs> that was so fun. Let's see what else we can find here. Wow, this is a huge jumping pillow. <laughs> Come on, let's see. Whoa, super bouncy. Really? A pillow? Ooh. Good night. <laughs> Whoa, let's see, what can I do on here? Whoa, I can do one of my all time favorite things a cartwheel. Ready? Woohoo! Oh, I can also do a round off. You can jump with me. What's one of your favorite jumps? You could do this. Woohoo! You could do it on the other side. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm so excited to make blueberry lemonade. I already made a lot of lemonade right here. To make lemonade, you need lemons and you need sugar to make it sweet because lemons are pretty sour and you need some water. But I think we need one more lemon to go into this lemonade. So let me cut one here. I'll show you how you get the juice out. And remember, only grown-ups should be using knives. Okay, so cut this in half, like that. And this is a juicer. We're gonna add that to the picture that I already made before. Yum! Okay, and my favorite part, we have some juice from the blueberries that you helped me pick earlier. We washed the blueberries and we juiced them and now I have some yummy 
blueberry juice to add to this lemonade. All right. Whoa. <sighs> Isn't that such a pretty color? All right. Now we'll take a spoon and stir it up. Mmm, smells sweet and fruity. Hey, okay, think that's pretty good. And I have a cup here so I can taste it. I have to make sure it tastes good. All right, whoops. <laughs> and, oh, I should add some extra blueberries to make it really special. Mmm. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's really, really tasty. Oh, I love blueberries so much. Okay, so I picked blueberries. I made blueberry lemonade. What's the other thing that I wanted to do? <gasps> Find sunflowers, that's right. I wonder if there are sunflowers around here. I have these binoculars. They'll help me look a little closer. Let's see. Where are the sun? Oh, I see sunflowers down there. Let's get a closer look. Come on. I found the sunflowers. Oh, there's a really big one down here. Wow, it's so pretty. See, the inside looks like the sun and the petals all around look like sun rays. Isn't that cool? Like a big, beautiful sunshine. And speaking of sunshine, did you know that sunflowers are attracted to the sun? So if the sun is shining over here, a sunflower will look like this. <laughs> and if the sun is shining over there, the sunflower will look like this. That's so cool. Oh, they're so beautiful. So I think we did everything that we planned. Let's see. We picked blueberries, we made blueberry lemonade, and we found sunflowers. We did it. Thank you for your help. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> well, we'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, it's me, Mika. And today we're at the Kennedy Space Center in Merritt Island, Florida. We are going to explore space junk, space rockets, and have so much fun. Will you come with me? Well, let's go. Hey, check it out a rocket garden. Do you know what a rocket is? It's a vehicle that launches stuff into space so that we can learn about other planets and galaxies and stars. <laughs> hey, will you count the rockets with me? Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and do you see the big one laying on its side? Nine, there are nine rockets. Hey, let's get a closer look, come on. Whoa, this is gonna be really cool. This rocket right here, can you see it? It's called the Delta II. Isn't that a cool color blue? Whoa, this rocket has gone to space over 150 times. That's a lot of times. And if you look at the top, you can see the American flag. And if you look even higher, it has a shark face. <laughs> Isn't that so funny? It's a shark rocket. Wow, gone to space a lot. That's a hard-working shark rocket. <laughs> Let's keep exploring. Come on. Wow, the Space Shuttle Atlantis. Let's go inside and get a closer look. Come on. Whoa, look at this. <laughs> wow, it's so, so big. This is the Space Shuttle 
Atlantis. This space shuttle has been to space multiple times. And it's the last space shuttle that's been to space. And we're in the same room with it. How cool is that? Oh, come over here. You see the front part? It kind of looks like an airplane, but it's not a plane. It flies, but it goes all the way to space. And it's called the flight deck. Astronauts can sit in there, and there's all kinds of buttons and controls so that they can navigate through space. You know what's really cool and what really helps them navigate? Do you see those white holes? It's kind of hard to see. Well, those holes track stars. They're called the star trackers. Have you ever looked up into the night sky and looked at stars? Can you imagine if you looked up and saw a space shuttle? Whoa, that would be amazing. Wow, it's so cool to look at. There's a lot of different shapes. I see a red triangle up there. Circles, squares. It kind of looks like a puzzle. Huh. Wow, let's keep going. Whoa, check this out. It's a live video of the Space Shuttle Atlantis. We can get a little more information. Here, let me move it so you can see it a little better. Is that good? All right. Hmm, what should we learn about? Ooh, the mid-deck. What happens in there, I wonder? Oh, this is where the astronauts do their cooking and eating and sleeping. They actually make food and sleep and live on the shuttle just like you do at home. That's so cool. And, oh, the flight deck. Ha, there's some astronauts right there. View features, yes please. Whoa, see, that's inside. You can see the seats where the astronauts sit and there's controllers and buttons and switches so that the commander and the pilot can control and steer the space shuttle. Whoa, I cannot imagine sitting in a space shuttle and not pressing all of those buttons. <laughs> that would be really hard to do. Wow, hey, do you wanna get a closer look of a flight deck? Well, let's blast off and go, ready? Three, two, one. Welcome to the flight deck. Oh, there's a lot to look at, isn't there? Well, the front part is called the forward station. And the back part is called the aft station. And aft means rear, so the back. Oh, I think I'm gonna sit down. Oh, whoa, okay, look at me, I'm Pilot Mika. Pilot Mika, getting ready to go on a mission. Let's go on this flight together. <laughs> Ooh, I can press all of these buttons because it's just pretend, it's not real. So let me just get that uh, ADI landing gear, get the nose in place, check the cabin, enable, pin, so one, two, three, power on, power on, power on, power on, power on. Here we go! I can see so many stars. Whoa. Being a pilot of a space shuttle is really fun. <laughs> Whoa, there's more buttons back here. Oh. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> it must take a long time to learn what all of these buttons and controls and knobs mean. I wonder how long it takes an astronaut to learn what every little button is for. Whoa. Huh. Kind of looks like something you would use on a video game. And there's a whole other side. Look at these screens. There's lots of numbers on these screens. Look, oil, fuel. What happens if the space shuttle runs out of gas? Are there space gas stations? <laughs> Whoa. There's more stars over there. Wow. Oh, I think we're coming in for a landing. 
Everyone, hold on tight. We're here. We landed nice and safe. Thank you, Pilot Mika. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> hey, up here. <laughs> Ready? Three, two, one. Blast off! Woo! <laughs> fast and really fun. Whoa. Hey, now we're at the bottom of the Space Shuttle Atlantis. This is really neat. We were able to see the top, but now we're at the bottom. Whoa, look at the wing. It's really, really big. Have you ever made a paper airplane? You know how when you make a paper airplane, you can make it to go really fast, or really slow, or really high, or really low, depending on how you fold the paper and make the wings? Well, engineers had to work really hard to figure out how to make wings that would soar into space. This is a delta wing. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> oh, come down here. That says, United States. And the United States flag is right there. See? Red, white, and blue. <laughs> Whoa, come look at this. Whoa, do you know what this is? This is a smaller version of the Space Shuttle Atlantis. See, it's right there. It even says Atlantis under that American flag. So see the orange part in the middle? Right there? That is the external tank. And that's what holds all of the fuel to help the space shuttle go into space. And there's two rockets on the side. Will you count them with me? One, two, two rockets. And these rockets are rocket boosters to help the space shuttle boost into space like this. Three, two, one. <laughs> Let's look over here. Whoa! I bet you've seen these before, but way smaller. Yeah, and they're really big tires. And these tires right here actually went to space. <laughs> See? The picture right here? There's three sets of landing gear on a space shuttle, each with two tires. Learning about space is so fun. Come on. Whoa, look how big this telescope is. Have you ever seen a telescope this big before? <laughs> this is the Hubble Space Telescope. Do you know what a telescope is? It's a device that allows you to see things really far away. So. Oh, like I can see the Space Shuttle Atlantis way over there. <laughs> but this one is massive. And it's orbited over 300 miles from Earth, allowing us to see images of space. <laughs> In fact, this telescope has sent hundreds of thousands of images of space back to Earth. That way we can see what space looks like. And see these things on the side? They kind of look like wings, but they're solar panels. They attract the sunlight and then turns it into usable energy. This is the coolest telescope I have ever seen. <laughs> I love space. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> I'm a space shuttle. <laughs> that was so much fun today learning about space shuttles and space rockets especially the Space Shuttle Atlantis. We got to go really close to a real space shuttle that went to space. What an amazing day. Thanks for learning with me. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Great. M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. Well, I'll see you next time. I'm blasting off. Three, two, one. Hey, everyone. It's me, Mika. 
and today I'm at Sky Zone Trampoline Park in Anaheim, California. <laughs> Woo! Look at these blocks! They're so fun! And light! They're made out of foam. And look, this one is orange. And oh, there's a blue one there too. And it says, welcome! <laughs> That's so nice! I'm really excited because there are trampolines here and foam pits that you can jump into. And I really want to learn how to do a flip. I wonder if there's someone here who can teach me how to do that. Let's go find out. Hi, I'm Mika. Hi, I'm Priscilla, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Welcome to Sky Zone. Ooh, thank you, I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> awesome, okay, first we do need to pick out some wristbands Ooh, in order to go inside the park. I love wristbands. Hmm. So which color would you like? Oh, let's see, there's orange, green, <gasps> yellow. Yellow is one of my favorite colors. I want Mine this one. too. All right, here, let's go. Thank you, so official. <laughs> and now we have to pick out some socks. Okay, why do we need to put on special socks? The special socks have grip on them so that when you're on the trampoline, you don't slip. Oh, that's so smart. Hmm, let's see, we have some orange socks and ooh, some blue and black and pink socks. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go with the orange. I love this color, and my best friend Blippi really loves orange. I'm gonna wear these. All right, perfect. <laughs> Thank so you. So what brings you in today? Oh, I really wanna learn how to do a flip on the trampoline. All right, perfect. We have Quincy in the park who can teach you how to do a flip. Wow, okay, let's go find Quincy. Thank you. Of course. <laughs> trampolines and this huge foam pit behind me. Wow, I've never seen so many trampolines before. Will you count them with me? Awesome, let's go. Okay, ready? One, <laughs> two, three, four, five. Wow, five trampolines! Huh, I wonder where Quincy is. That's who's supposed to teach me how to do a flip. Oh, I'm so excited. Where is he though? I wonder if he's in the foam pit. Should I jump in and see? <laughs> Let's do it. Woo, wow. <laughs> Quincy. Quincy? Hmm. I don't think anyone's in here, except me. <laughs> Whoa, it says foam zone. That's where we are, in this big foam zone. Check out these blocks. Look, you see a square? When there's six squares together, that makes a cube. And these are made out of foam, so it's soft, and squishy, so it feels really fun and nice to jump into a foam pit. And you don't get hurt. <laughs> Look, there's orange, blue, and black. <laughs> this is so fun. I can't wait till I learn how to do a flip. I wonder where Quincy is. <gasps> Maybe he's over there. Come on, let's go. Cool, but I still don't see Quincy anywhere, huh? Whoa, I know what this is. It's orange, it's round, and oh, it bounces. This is a basketball. But why would a basketball be in a trampoline park? And hey, there's a basketball hoop. And another trampoline. I bet jumping on a trampoline and throwing a basketball into the hoop is a lot easier than if you're just on a regular ground. Oh, I'm gonna try it. Okay, let's see. On three. One, two, three. Ah, did 
didn't get it in. Oh, here's another one. It's yellow. Maybe I'll try and throw it backwards. One, two, three. Whoa. Oh, whoopsie. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Hmm. Maybe if I do three big bounces to the hoop, that will go in. Ready? One, two, three. Ah, there's one more ball. Okay, how should I do this one? Hmm, maybe I'll do one giant bounce and a turn for finesse. <laughs> Ready? One. Oh, I still didn't get it in. <laughs> That's okay. I'm gonna keep looking for Quincy. I can't wait to learn how to do a flip. <sighs> Quincy! No, Quincy. <laughs> Let's go over to the other side. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> do you know what this is? This is a balance beam. It's called that because it's a beam and you have to have really good balance to stand on it. Whew. You don't want to wobble and go side to side. Did you know that there are a lot of animals who have really good balance? And mostly because of their tails. <laughs> Squirrels have really good balance because of their swooshy tails and cats. Meow. Meow. <laughs> and kangaroos. Yeah, kangaroos have long tails that help them balance and they're really good jumpers. <laughs> Will you jump with me? <laughs> hey, let's jump over there. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, more trampolines. Look how many are in here. Whoa! Wow! That has to be Quincy! He's so good at jumping! Whoa! Whoa! Wow! Are you Hello? Quincy? I am Quincy. Hi, I'm Mika! It's nice to meet you, Mika. How nice you doing? Nice to meet you too. I'm having so much fun here. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that, Mika. So I heard that you are really good at flipping. You might have heard, right? Oh, well, I want to learn how to flip too. Can oh, you help me? I can take good care of you. Awesome. <laughs> what do we need to do first? All right, first and foremost, we have to warm up. Oh, right. It's important to warm up our body so we don't get hurt. Exactly, Mika. Okay, so what do we need to do? So first things first, you know, we're just going to touch the ground. Oh, okay. We're just touch, touch the, the ground. ground. You know, then we're going to lean to the left. And then we're going to lean it to the right. Okay. Ah. And you know, once your legs feel all good, you get some jumping jacks in. Woo! You know, you know, have some fun with it. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> wow, it's kind of like making a snow angel in the air. Exactly. Whoa! <laughs> wow! Okay, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm getting warmer and looser. <laughs> Are you feeling warm and loose? I think so. All right, let's see if you can do a jump to a spin. Jump a twist. Okay, ready? Ooh, like oh, that? Just like that. Wow. <laughs> I got what else can we do? Well, you ever done a somersault? Yeah, have you ever done a somersault before? Okay, let's do it together. All right, you know how to do a somersault, Mika? Yeah. So what are the first steps, just first as a steps, reminder? Visualize your platform. Ooh, okay. Visualize. Then you're gonna put your hands out. Okay. Oh. And fall. Okay, so hands out, and what do I do with my head? You're gonna tuck your head in like a bowling ball. Oh, tuck your head in like a bowling ball. You're gonna tuck and roll. And then become the ball. Become the ball. <laughs> Here I go. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that, Mika. That was so fun. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Okay, ready? All right. Visualize. Visualize. Head tucked. Head tucked. And become the ball. Become the ball. Whoa, that was really fun. It was really fun. Now I got a question for you. Yeah. Think you can do it in the air? Oh, I've never tried before. You want me to show you? Yes, please. All right. Well, first, you're gonna get a whole 
A lot of air. Whoa. A whole lot of air. And then, next you're gonna do, you tuck your chin again. So once you get all that air, you're gonna tuck your chin. And remember, only try and do a flip if you're with a grown up. Oh, yeah. Whoa, did you see that? He just did a front flip in the air. That was amazing. Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you. How do you jump that high? Uh, <sighs> basketball helps. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Sometimes, you just gotta have fun with it in the air. Hop over your leg. Wow, you're so good Meditate at jumping. Whoa. <laughs> Wow, that was so fun. But Quincy, I don't know if I'm ready to do a flip in the air like you just did. Well, you gotta keep practicing, Mika, and then you'll get it. I got it. So, I have to remember to jump really high, stay in one spot, tuck my head, and go forward like a ball. Exactly, it's just like a somersault, but you're taking away the ground. Got it. Thank you so much. Of course, Mika. I'm going to take all of these things and I'm going to practice. And then one day I'll get to do a front flip just like you, Quincy. I hope so, Mika. <laughs> Thank you so much. Of course. I'm going to go bounce now. All right, me too. See you later. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> wow, that was so much fun playing and bouncing at Sky Zone Trampoline Park. <laughs> I really wanted to learn how to do a flip today, and Quincy was an amazing teacher. He knows a lot about flipping and bouncing on trampolines. Oh, and it was so fun jumping into the foam pit. The foam pit was nice and soft and squishy and oh, made out of blocks like this. Wait a second. Do you know what this says? It says, Mika. <laughs> That's me, that's my name. Well, I had so much fun playing and learning with you today. If you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Awesome! M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. We'll see you next time, bye. Hey, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at the Paint Place in New York City. Here at the Paint Place, they have a ton of different art supplies. You can make a sculpture or a painting, but I really want to make a mixed media piece. That's where you use a lot of different materials to make one art piece. Let's go. Oh, Paint Place. <laughs> Come on. Wow, there are so many cool paintings in here. I see an artist. Come on. I'm Mika, what's your name? I'm Mika, I'm Deirdre. Oh, hi Deirdre, nice to meet you. What do you do here? I'm an instructor at the paint place, I'm an artist. Oh, oh, you're a very good artist. What is this? This is the New York City skyline. <gasps> New York City, that's where we are right now. I think I wanna make a skyline too, but I wanna do a mixed media piece. Oh, absolutely, you're gonna need more supplies though. So okay. why don't you go grab it from the table? Oh, all right, thanks, see you soon. Whoa, look at all of these materials that I get to use for my mixed media piece. Oh, oh, here's an apron. That's super important because that way I can protect my clothes from paint or glue. Let me just tie this on. <laughs> look at all the paint that's already on the apron. <laughs> okay, let's see, what do I wanna use? Oh, check this out. Do you know what shape this is? It's a circle, and there's a lot of little circles around it. You wanna count the circles with me? Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten little circles. This is a paint palette. You can put different colors of paint in the little circles. Oh, I definitely need that. Hmm. What else? Oh, some paint brushes for sure. I like these little ones for detailing. Throw those in there. Oh, there's different kinds of ways to apply paint to a canvas. You could use a paintbrush or a sponge. That can make a really fun texture. I'm gonna throw that in there. Hmm. Oh, glue. I might need some glue. Let's see. Look at all of these colors. 
I see some of my favorite colors in here. I'm gonna use, ooh. Purple, oh yeah. Purple in there and hmm. Yellow. <laughs> wow, it would be so cool to have purple and yellow buildings. And this blue is pretty cool too. So purple, yellow, blue. Hmm. Looks like some of these papers are already cut out. Might need some of these. I'll get red and blue and yellow. Hmm, throw in some extra. Whoa, there's felt pieces cut out. Oh, what do we have here? <laughs> Look, there's a person. Hey, do you wanna be in my skyline painting? Yes, I do. Oh, great. You can go in there and what kind of shapes are over here? <gasps> a sunshine. My skyline could be during a sunny day. Oh, you're definitely going in there and some squiggles, those are fun. Throw those in there, I'll just throw them all. Wow, look at all these different colored puffy balls. Woo, they're called pom-poms. Hmm, I think I'm gonna throw some in there. And, oh, I'll definitely need scissors. If you're gonna use scissors, make sure you're with a grown-up. And, ooh, a sponge roller. That can be fun. Another way to apply paint. And, whoa, look at all of these different colors. I'm gonna throw that in there. And, whoa, look at this cool paintbrush. <laughs> the big paintbrush. This one is kind of like a triangle. Ooh, that'll be fun. And some colored pencils. Oh, this is gonna be so colorful. What a great way to remember my day in New York City. I'm missing anything? I need a canvas. This will do it. All right, let's get started. I'm so excited to make this art piece. Oh, here's an easel. Put my canvas right there. And I'll put my materials over here. Hey, there's other paint here. Look at this bright pink. Ooh, kind of matches my nails. This is acrylic paint, which is different than the watercolor paint that I put in my basket over there. Acrylic paint is thicker than watercolor paint. Watercolor is thinner and transparent, which means you can see through it. Hmm. I think I'm actually gonna use the acrylic paint today. All right. Uh, oh, I'll use my paint palette. So I'm gonna make a sky and water. So I'll need blue. Oh, here's some blue paint right here. Okay. Whoop, see? Nice blue paint. And oh, look at this blue. I love this color. It's kind of like a turquoise or a teal. Put that on there. <gasps> so pretty. And I'll add some black. Ooh, <laughs> and white. There we go, check it out. And I'll need a paintbrush. Oh, this looks like a perfect paintbrush for my sky and my water. All right, let's get started. <laughs> okay, starting with a blank canvas. I can go anywhere, I'm feeling inspired. <laughs> okay, so, I'm gonna start with the sky. So I think I'm gonna use this blue and a little bit of white. Get some water on there. And I have to be careful because acrylic paint could stain my clothes. Good thing I'm wearing an apron. <laughs> so get this beautiful blue sky. Okay, I think the sky's looking pretty good. And now I'm gonna do the water, the river. Hmm, let me make the water a little darker than the sky. 
more blue. And if I add black to it, I can make it a little darker than the sky. Okay, now oh, I see a hair dryer. That's such a smart way to make the paint dry faster. Okay. See? Whoop. I'm gonna dry my paint so then I can add the next material. Oh yeah. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Hmm, my water looks really dark. Oh, I bet if I added some blue to it, it would make it look a little more like water. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, whoops. Okay, I'm gonna add more blue. Let's see, this will brighten it up. Cause it's so dark, it looks like a street almost, but I really want it to be water. And I'm gonna add a little white. It's always important to clean your brush in between colors. Get some white on there. Wow, so I have sky and water, and I want some clouds up here. <gasps> I can use my fingers to make clouds. Okay. It's so cool how you can use different things to apply paint. <laughs> and the good thing about a paint apron is you can just ride off. Three puffy clouds. Whoop. All right, let me get. Now let's dry the clouds. Okay, check it out. It's the Empire State Building. I'm gonna have that building in my New York City skyline. <laughs> okay, let's put some buildings on my canvas. Let's get a lot of glue on here so my buildings stick. Here. Look, a yellow rectangle. Rectangles make really good buildings. All right, I finished gluing on my buildings. Now I'm gonna move on to my felt pieces. <gasps> Remember this, friend? Put some glue. All right. What should I name this person? Hmm. I think I'm gonna name him George. <gasps> George, where do you wanna go? Oh, okay. All right, you're a little close to the water, George, but I get it. It's the summer, you wanna cool off. And, oh, my sunshine. To find my felt. <gasps> sunshine, there it is. Okay, I'll put the sun up here. Oh, I love it. I think it would be really cool to add some cotton balls to my clouds. There's some over here. Oh, don't these look like clouds? Soft and fluffy and white. All right, let's see what it will look like. Add some here. Yeah, cool, I like it. What do you think? I think the clouds look really cool. And now, I think I'll add some details to the buildings. I'll need a small paintbrush, like this one. Isn't this so fun? It's what's cool about mixed media. You can use all different kinds of materials to make an art piece. Oh, I still have some white paint here. 
-hmm. Water in there. And then let's see, maybe this building can have some windows. Might be an apartment building. Oh, George lives here. George, you have a great building. Nice tenants. Okay. And then maybe some lines here, lines there. This building can have lines like that. And I'm gonna do three lines on this one. One, two, three. What's so cool about art is you can do whatever you want. All right. So details, I think that's pretty good. And I forgot, I have something in my jam pack. Glitter! <laughs> I'm gonna put some glitter on my painting, what do you think? Yeah. All right, I need some glue so the glitter sticks. I think it would look good in the water. Sparkly water. Now my mixed media art piece is all complete. Oh, hey Deidre. Hi, this looks amazing. Thank you, I had so much fun making it. I know the perfect spot where we can hang it up. Really? Yes, yeah, someone's coming to pick up their painting, so why don't we hang up yours? <gasps> I get to be on the wall with the other artists? So cool! I hope you enjoy the paint place. I did, it was so fun. Thanks for having me. Bye. All right, see you later. Well, I feel like a real artist now. <laughs> that was so fun. Well, guess I don't need my apron anymore because I'm all finished with my art piece. <laughs> what a great day at the paint place. I got to make a mixed media art piece using construction paper and felt pieces and paint and glitter. Oh, that was so cool. And I even got to hang it up on the wall <laughs> like an official artist. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, it's me, Mika. And today we're at Posh and Petite Playhouse in Woodland Hills, California. Did you know this is a place where we can explore and be curious about different jobs? <laughs> I can't wait to try different jobs like an ice cream maker or a firefighter. <laughs> Let's go! Which way should we go? Oh, check out this road. <laughs> Look, it's black with white stripes. Oh, black and white are opposite colors. Opposites mean they're completely different from one another. Kind of like, oh, night and day or hot and cold. <laughs> Check it out. Do you see that horse over there? Oh, let's drive our car over to him. <laughs> Hello, horsey. <laughs> I'm going to name him Popsicle because I really love Popsicle. <laughs> Can you pretend to be a horse? <gasps> Nay! Whoa! Oh, he's got a lot of horsepower. Let's go! <laughs> Check it out, it's a marketplace. We can buy healthy fruits and vegetables here and make delicious meals. I know, let's be a grocer. <laughs> All right, see you later, Popsicle. First, we need our basket. <laughs> oh, wow, check it out. If we wanna be a grocer, we have to get some items to put in our basket so we can ring it up. First, we'll need some alphabet soup. That's healthy and delicious. And how about some peas and carrots? And, ooh, mushrooms too. Check out all these healthy fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables are good for your body because they help you grow strong. <laughs> I 
got it. Let's play a game. Fruit or vegetable? <sighs> a carrot. It's orange and crunchy, and bunny rabbits love to eat them. Mmm, tasty. <laughs> Do you know if this is a fruit or a vegetable? Oh, that's right, a vegetable. Great job. All right, how about this? It's a cucumber. It's green and it has seeds. Fruits have seeds and vegetables don't. Fruit or vegetable? <laughs> oh yeah, that's a tricky one. It's a fruit, even though it seems like it's a vegetable. But great job. Hmm. Oh, yum. A strawberry. Strawberries are really, really sweet. Is a strawberry a fruit or a vegetable? <laughs> awesome! A fruit! One fruit point, please! Hmm, oh, look! A lemon! Lemons are one of my favorite colors. Yellow, and they're really sour. Can you pretend to taste a sour lemon? <laughs> Whoa! Oh, sour is the opposite of sweet! Strawberries are sweet, but lemons are sour. Is this a fruit or a vegetable? <laughs> right, a fruit, just like the sweet strawberry. Okay, ooh, check it out, a piece of corn. Mmm, <gasps> that's delicious. Do you know if it's a fruit or a vegetable? <laughs> right, a yummy vegetable. All right, let's go check out now. Welcome to Mika's Marketplace. Oh, I see you got corn. And you're in luck, because we have a special on corn. Just one cent. And a lemon. And our sweet strawberry. And a delicious carrot. And alphabet soup. Peas and carrots. Mmm, mushrooms. Wow, you got so many healthy options. <laughs> oh, being a grocer is so much fun. We even got to help a customer take home delicious vegetables to make yummy meals. <laughs> Let's go see what other jobs we can do. Yeehaw! We're at an ice cream shop. I know, let's pretend to be ice cream makers. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Let's go! Welcome to Mika's Magical Ice Cream Parlor. What's that? Fresh baked cookies? <laughs> Coming right up. Look at that, fresh out the oven. Oh, they smell delicious. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve crispy cookies. Let's taste one. Mmm, that's delicious. Would you like a bite? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Mmm, do you know what this is? That's right, a purple popsicle, just like my horse's name. <laughs> Would you like a popsicle? There you are, one for you and one for me. Oh, that's really cold. Perfect for a hot day. Oh, those are opposites, hot and cold. When I'm cold, oh, it makes me shiver. But when I'm hot, oh, I could sure use a popsicle. <laughs> Would you like some ice cream today? Great, how many scoops? Oh, five scoops? Okay, here we go. One chocolate scoop. Two, a vanilla scoop. Three, mint chocolate chip. There you go, friend. Perfect. 
for a strawberry scoop and five of vanilla scoop on top. <laughs> wow, it's stacked up so high. <laughs> I love being an ice cream maker. I love scooping ice cream and tasting it too. Hey, I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> Okay, let's see what other jobs we can do. <gasps> oh, don't forget Popsicle. Hello, Popsicle. Are you ready? Are you set? Go! <gasps> wow, check it out. We're in front of a fire station. A firefighter's job is to put out fires. Do you want to be a firefighter with me? <laughs> awesome, let's go. This is a cool fire station. Oh, look, a fire truck. It's red and really long too. <laughs> and look at these trucks. Let's go park. All right, to the parking lot we go. <laughs> oh, and look at these trucks. They're really big. Oh, and these trucks are small. Big and small. Those are opposites. How about this one? Big or small compared to this truck? Pretty small, right? <laughs> but what about compared to this one? Oh, now it's really big. <laughs> Do you hear that? It's a siren. Oh, we gotta get ready to go. Put out a fire. Hello? Yes? Fire? On one, two, three, fire road? Oh no! Let's go! Grab our hose! <gasps> Firefighter Mika is on the way. Grab my hose and save the day. Oh, awesome. We just put out a fire. Oh, that was so much fun. Thanks for helping me. You're very brave. Firefighters are really brave. <laughs> Let's go see what other jobs we can do. Whoa, look, an animal hospital. This is where veterinarians work. Veterinarians are doctors, but for animals. Oh, would you like to be a veterinarian with me? <laughs> awesome, let's go. Oh, look at these doors. A small door for turtles and hamsters and gerbils too, and a medium door for bunny rabbits and ducks. And ferrets and guinea pigs, too. And a large door for cats and dogs. Large and small. Those are opposites. <laughs> cool. Oh, and look at this door for birdies. Oh, that's another opposite. High and low. Low and high. <laughs> Let's pretend to be birds flying to the vet's office. Do you hear that? Paging Dr. Mika, you have a patient ready. Okay. Oh, and check it out. Here's our patient. Hello, puppy. How are you today? Little scratches, scratches. Did your family bring you here for a checkup? Oh, awesome. All right, let's get started, boy. We have a stethoscope. Stethoscopes are for hearing what's inside of your body, like your heart. Oh, may I check your heart too? Great. Wow, that sounds nice and strong. Okay, let's check puppy's heart. This might be a little cold. Wow, that sounds so healthy and strong. You must be getting on your daily walks, huh? Don't forget to hydrate, okay? Doctor's orders. <laughs> Oh, being a vet.
veterinarian is so much fun. I love helping animals and their families too. <laughs> now that I checked out the whole town, I'm gonna hit the road. Are you ready, Popsicle? <laughs> Let's go, giddy up! <laughs> Thank you so much for exploring different jobs with me today. <laughs> if I had to choose, I'd be a ice cream maker, grocer, animal doctor, firefighter. <laughs> all at once. <laughs> they were all so much fun, I can't just pick one. <laughs> but you know the best part? Exploring with you, friend. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? Oh, great! M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika! <laughs> okay, friends, see you later. Bye-bye. Hey, it's me, Mika. I'm here at Raymond Alf Museum in Claremont, California, where they have dinosaurs. I need your help. I hear they have a baby Parasaurolophus here named Joey. That looks just like this one. She lives here at the museum and I can't wait to meet her. What? She's right behind me? Where? Oh, you're right, that was her. Let's follow her and learn about other dinosaurs too. Maybe we'll meet some new dino friends. Come on. Wow, check out these fossils. <laughs> fossils are the bones of animals that lived a long, 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 long time ago. The study of ancient life through fossils is called paleontology. And scientists study fossils in order to tell us more about animals and not just dinosaurs either. They studied all kinds of fossils like this one right here. Check it out. It's a giant alligator that lived seven million years ago. Whoa, that's a long time ago. Okay, alligator, I'll see you later. Let's go find some other dinosaur fossils. Come on. Whoa, check it out. A Tyrannosaurus Rex. Did you know the T-Rex is my favorite dinosaur? What's your favorite dinosaur? Awesome! In fact, I always keep a little T-Rex with me wherever I go. <laughs> Can you pretend to be a T-Rex? <laughs> wow! The Tyrannosaurus Rex is a carnivore, which means they eat meat. They have really sharp teeth for chewing their food. But not all dinosaurs are carnivores, you know. Some are herbivores, which means they eat plants, nuts, and berries. Their teeth are really, really flat for grinding up food. <laughs> awesome! Okay, little buddy, see you later. Whoa! Check out these marine fossils. These animals lived in water. Oh, do you see the fish? Let's count them. One, two, two fish. Let's count the ammonite shells too. Ready? One, two, two shells. Awesome counting. Oh, and check it out. This is a fossilized sea turtle, an ancient one from millions of years ago. Let's count its Flippers. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three, four. Four flippers. <laughs> Let's pretend to swim, 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 just like a sea turtle. Oh, whoa, check it out. This dinosaur is huge. Does this look like a Parasaurolophus? Uh, no, he doesn't have the crest on his head. Let's see what this dinosaur is called. 
oh, this is an Allosaurus. <laughs> cool. It has a really long tail. That's so it can balance when it's running and walking. Oh, and look at its fingers. Whoa, let's count them. One, two, three. <laughs> three fingers. Oh, and check out his sharp teeth. Did this dinosaur eat meat or plants? That's right, it's a carnivore because it has sharp teeth. Awesome job, friend. Okay, let's go find more dinosaur friends. Here we go. Check it out. We made it to the Hall of Footprints. I wonder if, oh, look, it's baby Joey. Let's see if we can catch up to her. Go! Joey? Joey? Huh, we must have just missed her. <gasps> Whoa, check out these dinosaur footprints. Hmm, not much bigger than my foot. <laughs> Ooh, here I come. <laughs> oh, and check out these footprints. Whoa. The reptile that made these must have been really small because the footprints aren't very big. <gasps> Check out these footprints. Wow. Paleontologists didn't just study bones. They also study track marks. And this is a mold of a dinosaur footprint. <laughs> Whoa, it's so big. Much bigger than my hand. Oh, I got it. Let's count the dinosaur toes. Most dinosaurs had three toes. Ready? One, two, <laughs> three. Three dinosaur toes. Oh, check it out over here. Some more footprints. But this is from a camel. And camels only had two toes. Let's count them. Ready? One, two. <laughs> Come on, let's check out some more footprints. Whoa, do you see those? I bet this is an animal you know. I'll give you a hint. Meow, meow. That's right, it's a cat paw. Let's count the toes. One, two, three, four little cat toes. <laughs> awesome job. I got it. Let's go see if we can do our own archeological dig. <laughs> do you know what this is? It's a dig pit. When we dig inside, we'll find fossils. <laughs> Are you ready for our fossil dig? <laughs> Me too. Wow, this feels a lot like sand. Okay, I'm ready to dig. Dig, dig, dig. Dig down deep, dig, dig, dig. Oh, I wonder what we'll find. Oh, digging is a lot of fun. Oh, I think I got something. Check it out. It's a turtle shell. Awesome. Okay, let's put it in our pretend bowl. Doop. Let's dig over here now. Dig, 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 dig down deep. <gasps> Check it out, a Tyrannosaurus Rex, my favorite dinosaur. And it's orange, Oh, just like one of Blippi's favorite colors. Cool, let's keep digging. Dig, 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 dig down deep. Dig, dig, dig. Oh, what else will we find in here? <laughs> this is cool. I like how it feels on my fingers. Hmm. <gasps> Check it out. Oh, this is a big fossil. Oh, it's a dinosaur egg. <gasps> Whoa, awesome job. I'm still, <gasps> another fossil. Check it out. It's a T-Rex claw. <laughs> Whoa, I got it. I need my magnifying glass. This helps us see things closer and clearer. 
Ooh, whoa. Awesome job, friend. Oh, wait, what's that? Sounds like a dinosaur, but it doesn't sound like a T-Rex roar. Let's go check it out. Come on, T-Rex. A Parasaurolophus roar doesn't sound like a roar at all. In fact, it sounds like a horn. Check it out. Whoa, did you hear that? Let's try to make that sound too. Ready? Um. <laughs> Great job. Let's listen again. Wow. Let's try this one. This is what Joey might sound like. <laughs> that was so cool. Okay, let's keep looking for Joey. Hey, is this the baby Parasaurolophus we've been looking for? <laughs> let's check. What do you think? I think so too, we found Joey. Are you Joey? Oh, hey, I'm Mika, nice to meet ya. I've been looking for you everywhere. <laughs> Do you like to eat plants or meat? Oh, that's right, Joey is an herbivore. Good Joey, can I give you some chin scratches? <laughs> this calls for a 10 second dance party. We did it, we did it, we never ever quit it, we did it! Great job! See you later, Joey! Woo! <laughs> that was so much fun! It was awesome learning all about dinosaurs with you. We did important work digging in a dig pit to find fossils, and we even learned how to talk like a dinosaur! Honk! Honk! <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika! All right, friends, see you later! Bye-bye! Hey, it's me, Mika, and today I'm at Dig It in Torrance, California. They have so many cool construction toys here, like excavators and conveyor belts. Oh, I'm going to pretend to be a construction worker. But first things first, safety first. I'll put on my hat and my safety vest. <laughs> Will you pretend to be a construction worker with me? Great, come on. <laughs> I'm at my first construction vehicle. Can you guess what it is? <laughs> I'll give you some hints. It has two arms and a bucket. <laughs> That's right, it's a front loader. <gasps> Check it out. <gasps> okay, let's see how it works. <gasps> oh, start engine. Start. <gasps> Wow! <laughs> Let's honk the horn. <laughs> honk, honk, honk. Excuse me, moving dirt here. Oh, I have to put it in drive. Now reverse. Backing up. Pardon me. <laughs> oh, gotta turn on my lights. Check out these pedals. Whoa! This is so cool. <laughs> okay, let's park. <laughs> that was awesome. Ooh, and look at these big tires. Black and yellow. One of my favorite colors. Oh, let's see what this does. Spin, spin, spin. Whoa! So cool! We can 
roll it around. This is a big circle. Easier for rolling. <laughs> and these are called treads. They help the wheel get traction. <laughs> and check this out over here. Wow! It's like a construction site. <laughs> and there are three construction vehicles. Red, green, and blue. Oh, and it's a puzzle. The goal is to get each car to its site. This one is for the blue car. Okay, let's see if we can get it over. Hmm. Da, da, da. Hmm, best way to get there. Excuse me, Red. Da, da, da. Oh, I have to go up there. Excuse me, Red. You go down there. Da, da, da. <laughs> we made it. Okay, let's try for Red. <laughs> da, da, da. Which way will we go? Huh, no. That's not the right way. <laughs> da, da, da. Oh, we made it. Okay, one more vehicle to go. Da, 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 da. Oh. Wow, we did it. We matched all the vehicles. That was so awesome. Oh, check it out. I see something cool over there. Let's go. Whoa, check out this building. It's pretty tall. Oh, and it has a lot of great shapes. Do you know what this shape is? That's right, a triangle. And this shape? Circle, great job. Put this triangle on top. Make sure everything's nice and tight. Hey, let's use this pipe wrench to make sure everything is tight. Nice and tight. <laughs> Great! I have another wrench in my jam pack. This one's called a crescent wrench because of the shape on top. <laughs> it kind of looks like a moon in the sky. <laughs> okay, let's take our tools and see what needs fixing over here. Whoa! Check out these big blue buildings behind me. <laughs> so tall. Hey, let's make an end together. Oh, and look, I have the perfect shape for that. Don't they look like rainbow arches? <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, awesome. Now I have a second rainbow arch. <laughs> wow. And for Mika. <laughs> Job well done. Okay, our project is constructed and finished. On to the next one. We made it to the cement truck. Mix it up, mix, mix it up. Mix it up, mix, mix it up. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Hey. This looks like a hamster wheel. That's a wheel that little hamsters and other animals use to run around and get their exercise in. But in construction, this wheel is used to mix cement. It turns it around and around and around, mixing it all together. Should we try it? Should we be cement that gets mixed and mixed and mixed together? Yeah, let's give it a try. made me a little dizzy. Whoa. Spin, spin, spin like a cement truck. Spin, spin, spin like a cement truck. <laughs> I saw a lot more cool things to do here while I was spinning. Come on, let's go learn more about construction vehicles. Beep, beep, beep. Burr. We made it to our next construction vehicle. Can you guess what it is? 
I'll give you some clues. It has an arm and a boom and a bucket. <laughs> That's right. It's an excavator. <laughs> Excavators are used to dig things up. Sometimes it's dirt, but this excavator digs up balls. Okay, we have to stay out of the construction zone, okay? <laughs> oh, here it goes. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> awesome. Let's try it again. <laughs> We dug up a lot. Our job here is done. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> Look, it's a conveyor belt. A conveyor belt helps construction workers move things from one spot to another so that they don't have to carry them. <laughs> Great. Oh, and look, check it out. Look at all these bricks. <laughs> They're rectangular. See the shape? <laughs> and do you know this color? <laughs> yeah, brown. Oh, and there's another shape too. Can you see it? <laughs> right, circles. Let's count the circles. One, two, Three, great job. Mmm, <gasps> this kinda reminds me of chocolate. Let's pretend that these are chocolate pieces and we want to move them way up there. Come on, let's check it out. Okay, let's put them on the conveyor belt. Mm-hmm, <laughs> great. Ready, little chocolates? <laughs> turn, turn, turn. Whoa! Wow! I have to keep turning, have to keep turning. <laughs> Whoa, let's get them all the way to the top. There they go! <laughs> yeah! Okay, now we're at the top. At the bottom, we put the chocolate bricks onto the conveyor belt and we turn the wheel, turn the wheel, turn the wheel until they went all the way to the top. And look, this is where they landed. Oh, more bricks are coming. Check it out. Oh, whoa. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> okay, now I'm ready to go down the slide. I'll see you at the bottom. That was so much fun. Whoa, what's this? Hmm, kind of looks like a bucket. Oh, check it out. When I pull this one down, that one goes higher. Oh, it's a pulley system. It helps get things from one place to another, just like a conveyor belt does. <laughs> Maybe I can send my friends some lunch at the top. But since I don't have lunch, let's see what I have in my jam pack. Oh, look, a little construction vehicle. Let's put it in the bucket and send it up. <laughs> Ready? Here you go. <laughs> so cool. Let's put something in this bucket too. Let's see what I have in my jam pack. Tiger, are you ready? <laughs> ready? In you go. Have fun. Woo! <laughs> wow! 
Now the tiger is going up high. And now it's coming down low. <laughs> now it's going up high. And look, our construction vehicle is on the other side. Wow, being a construction worker is a lot of fun. Okay, let's drive away. Wow, a tractor race. Since I'm all done with my construction work, let's go on a tractor ride. Whoa, 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 in my big tractor. Go, 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 in my big tractor. Beep, beep, backing it up. Vroom! Whoa, that was so much fun. <laughs> Thank you so much for being a construction worker with me today. We rode a big front loader and we pretended to be cement, mixing around in a cement mixer. Then we used the little excavator to dig up a ball pit. Oh, whoa, we did a lot today. Now it's time to hang up my vest and roll on out of here. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. See you later. Hey, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at the Happy Ice in Los Angeles, California. And I'm so excited because we get to learn all about water ice. Have you ever heard of water ice before? <laughs> it's smooth and creamy like ice cream, but refreshing like shaved ice. And I can't wait to taste it. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Are you ready to explore? <laughs> yeah, come on, let's go. Hey, I'm Mika, so nice to meet you. Hey Mika, I'm Lemire. <laughs> do you make Happy Ice? Yes, I do. I'm actually the owner of Happy Ice. Really? Yes. Wow. And we serve Philadelphia water ice. You ever had it before? Never. Oh man, you need to learn more about it. You want to learn more? Yes, please. Whoa, it's so colorful in here. And look, there's a rainbow. <laughs> I love rainbows. Let's see which colors this rainbow has. Red, pink, yellow, blue, a different shade of blue, and green. Wow. And hey, look at these clouds. Wait a minute. Oh. We're surrounded by clouds. Whoa, do you see that up there? <laughs> so fluffy. <laughs> Check out this watermelon. Oh, would you like to count the seeds with me? Great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 watermelon seeds. <laughs> and did you know this part of the watermelon is called the rind? <laughs> yeah, it's green. Cool. <laughs> oh, and look, another red fruit. Do you know what it's called? That's right, cherries. <gasps> Let's count the cherries. One, two, two delicious cherries. Check out all these fruits. <laughs> oh, look at this one, a lemon. It's one of my favorite colors, yellow. Do you see any other yellow fruit? Yeah, this pineapple has yellow and green too. This pineapple is so sweet and this one is really sour. <laughs> oh, and look at all these red fruits. Strawberries and some more cherries, just like this one. <laughs> and watermelon too. Oh, I love this place. It makes me feel so happy. Happy ice, happy ice. Sounds so good, I had to sing it twice. <laughs> and look, another rainbow. 
Whoa. Let's see where the rainbow goes. Hey, Lamir. Hey. You ready to get started? Are you ready to get started? <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we can start off by letting you choose the flavor we start making today. <gasps> can I choose two flavors? Why not? Today's a special day. Oh, great. What color should we choose? I see white and green. I would love to try a yellow flavor, but I don't see any. Oh, well this right here, I know it looks orange, uh -huh. but when we make it and it comes out the machine, it's gonna be bright yellow, just like your headband. Oh, perfect. I'd like that flavor, please. Gotcha. And I would like my other favorite color, purple too, but I don't see it. Oh, purple is your favorite color? Yes, one well, of guess them. Guess what? We don't typically have purple, but I did make a custom flavor recently <laughs> that I didn't get a chance to use, but today's a special day. Whoa. It's lavender. Lavender? What does yes. that taste like? So lavender is a floral flavor. Uh -huh. It's like a herb, very light, but very, very good. Oh, I like that one, please. All right. Purple and yellow. Got it. Let's do it. Great. <laughs> Let's go make it. All righty. We now have our flavors. Great. You ready to start making? Yeah. Okay. Well, we're chefs today, so we have to have our aprons. Great. Now, we're going to go ahead and pour our flavor inside of our pitchers right here. Okay. Okay? You want to do yellow? Yes, please. I'll go ahead and do the purple. Go ahead and pour the whole thing inside. All right. Alrighty. I'll take that one. You can now you have your lavender. Lavender. Mm-hmm. In machine. Pour that one, one inside of there. Mmm, <laughs> it smells so good. Doesn't it? Yeah. Tastes good too. Awesome. Thank you. And now sitting at the top of the machines is our special water mix. This is what makes Philadelphia water ice, Philadelphia water ice. <laughs> Very special. You want to go ahead and take this. Okay. And pour this right directly inside the machine with the flavor. Okay. Here I go. You are doing a good job today. Oh, thank you. Perfect. Yep. And we got one more. One more to go. You actually make two flavors. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. All righty. So now we're at the final stages. Okay. And we want to make the product. So we have our icons on here. And the one that kind of looks like an ice cream cone, when we hit that one, the machine is going to start and it's going to freeze the product oh. and actually turn it into Philadelphia water ice. Wow! Okay. Okay. So I'll let you have the honors of counting down and okay. we're going to hit the button together. Together. Ready? All right. Three, two, one. Oh. Wow! Check out all this foam. <laughs> all righty. So now the product is frozen inside and it's time for us to let it out. All right. So I'm gonna start off by just hitting this button. And this one, and now it's ready to come out. So I'm gonna stir up the top a little bit. Get the top mixture a little solid. All right, and we ready to go. Here go your bright yellow. Remember I told you like a head man? Yeah, All right. looks great. I'm gonna let it out, I'm gonna demonstrate on this one, and you're gonna do that one, okay? Okay. All right, so you wanna bring it to the center. You have to lift it up, and then the product comes out. And we wanna stir it. Wow, it's going inside of the bucket. Whoa. Then once it fills up, bring this back down, turn it to the side, stop the machine. Keep stirring. We're going to stir it a little bit just to flatten it out. And you are all set. Okay. You want to start by hitting that button, uh -huh. then that one, and then you can lift up the handle. Go ahead, turn that to the middle, lift it up. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> yeah. And go ahead and stir as it's coming out. Do I fill up the whole bucket? That should be enough right there. 
Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna stop the machine for you. And now we have to go ahead and pop on our two lids. Okay. And once we pop on our lids, we're gonna hurry up and get inside of the freezer so there's no ice crystals and we're all ready to go. Great. Okay, all right. So we need our two lids. We're gonna pop our lids on. Perfect. <laughs> so now you wanna go ahead and get them inside of the freezer okay. so they can get ready to serve. <laughs> So good, I had to sing it twice. Happy ice, happy ice, happy life. <laughs> oh, look, we have a customer. <laughs> Wait, I thought I had a customer. <gasps> oh, there she is. <laughs> Here you go, babe. Yeah. You're welcome. Enjoy. <laughs> Great, another happy customer. Thanks for helping me learn about Happy Ice today. We got to visit the Happy Ice truck and try different flavors, and we even made our own flavor. Well, that's the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. See you later, friends. Hey. It's me, Mika, and today I'm at Montebello Barnyard Zoo in Montebello, California. <laughs> and I heard they have animals here <gasps> and a fairy village. <laughs> so I'm going to be a fairy and grant wishes to any animals or fairies I see. I have my fairy wings on and my magic fairy wand. <gasps> Will you help grant wishes with me? Awesome! Hmm, let's go find that fairy village. <laughs> hey, horsey, I'm Mika. Nice to meet ya. <laughs> We're looking for fairies. <gasps> hey, should we grant this horse a wish? <laughs> yeah! Okay, I need some space. Mika's here with the plan. Your fairy wish is my command. <laughs> Look, horse food. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, horsey. Your wish is granted. <laughs> okay, see ya. I haven't seen any fairies yet, but check it out. Goats. Hello, goats. I'm Mika. Nice to meet ya. <laughs> Ooh, did you know goats have four stomachs? <laughs> yeah, that's why they're so hungry. <laughs> Do you know where the fairies are? Okay, let's keep going east. I haven't found those fairies yet. Oh, but I have a great idea. Check it out, a tractor. Let's go on a ride to the fairy village. Hey, I'm Mika, nice to meet ya. <laughs> Can you take me east to the fairy village? Yep. Oh, great. Come on, let's take a seat. This looks like a great seat for a tractor ride. Oh, here we go! Whoa! There's so many animals. Hi, llamas! Oh, look! There are three llamas. <laughs> they look so cozy in all that fur. Oh, and look! An emu! That's a flightless bird from Australia. <laughs> Whoa, it's a bumpy ride. <laughs> oh, and look, some horses. Hello, horse. <gasps> look, a merry-go-round. Oh, that looks like so much fun. Okay, focus, focus, we're looking for fairies. That could be pretty fun. Maybe later. I think we're getting closer to the fairy village. Oh, I can't wait to meet so many fairies.
<laughs> yeah! We finally made it to the fairy village! We did it! We did it! We never ever quit it! We did it! <laughs> Great job! Whoa! Check it out! Look at this! Oh, it's a little forest for fairies! And look! A table and chair for their yummy lunches? Oh! And they got lots of fresh fruits and vegetables! <laughs> oh, and a bridge over glittery water! And a squirrel! <laughs> Hello, squirrel! Let's keep exploring! Whoa! Look! A door! Hmm, I wonder where it leads. Let's knock on it. Knock, knock, knock! Is anybody home? <laughs> oh, just a little gnome. Hello! <laughs> oh, and look! More fairies! Hello, little fairies! I'm Mika. Nice to meet ya. <laughs> Since you're always doing so much for people, like sprinkling fairy dust and collecting teeth and gems, do you need anything? Oh, you would like a home? <laughs> Lucky for you, I'm really crafty. I know just what you need. Mika's here with a plan. Your fairy wish is my command. <laughs> Coming right up. <laughs> Let's go. We need to build our fairies a little home. Hmm, I have just the trick. Mika's here with a plan. Your every wish is my command. <gasps> Whoa! Look at this house. This is a perfect house for a fairy. Are you ready to paint our fairy house? <laughs> yeah, me too. Wow, there are so many colors for us to choose. Blue, green, like grass, pink, purple, and yellow. And check it out, my two favorite colors are together. We should definitely start with those. Grab my paintbrush. Oh, do you know what this color is? <laughs> That's right, pink. Dip it in water first and dip it in the purple paint. This will be such a cozy home for the fairies. I hope they like it. <laughs> okay, let's do yellow next. Yellow, just like the sun. That looks so pretty. <laughs> and bright too. Okay, we got the front. Let's work on the roof. I think I'd like the roof to be blue just like the sky. Let's do pink with our pink paintbrush. Whoa, we're almost done. Check it out. Oh, such a beautiful fairy home. Let's do the sides now. Hmm, what color haven't we done yet? <gasps> green! Let's put some green on our house. Dip my brush. <gasps> Check it out! This is such a beautiful, colorful fairy home. <laughs> Let's go see if they love their new house. <laughs> Hello, little fairies. We made you a beautiful, colorful home. <laughs> Hope you like it. What's that? You love it? Oh, that's great news. Do you have everything you need? Oh, you would like us to help you collect gems? Oh, okay. I got it. Mika's here with a plan. Your every wish is my command. Great idea! Let's go collect some gems for our fairy friends. See you soon! We made it! <laughs> Let's go get some stones for our fairy friends. <laughs> oh, look! These are the different stones we can find. Amethyst and calcite. 
Whoa, I wonder how many stones we'll find. Ooh, water. All right, I have my mining tray. Do you know what this color is? That's right. It's yellow, one of my favorite colors. And it's round, just like a steering wheel. <laughs> this helps us sift through all the dirt. So we get rid of what we don't want, the dirt, and then we get our crystals inside. Ready to give it a try? <laughs> Great. Whoa, check out this dirt. Check it out! Look how many gems we got! Ooh, I think this one is rose quartz. And it's pink. Pretty! Check out this one. Wow! And this one is black! <laughs> and little! Let's count how many gems we found. Ready? One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven gins for our fairy friends. Let's go give them to our fairy friends. <laughs> Here we go. Don't worry, little fairies. We collected all the gems so you can rest and relax. <laughs> you get a gym. And you get a gym, little froggy. <laughs> and you get a gym too. <laughs> oh, would you like a gym too? Okay, I have plenty to share. Oh, I love giving. It makes me feel so happy. <laughs> would you like a gym too, little gnome? <laughs> Okay, there you go. And you get a gym too. Hope you're enjoying your new home. <gasps> oh, check it out. Look at this little fairy. She's taking a nap. <laughs> Let's leave her a crystal for when she wakes up. Sleep tight, little fairy. <laughs> That was so much fun being a fairy with you today. We got to pet some animals and feed them lunch. Oh, we got to mine for gems and we paid in a fairy house. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. Wait. I forgot to grant one more wish. Mine. Hmm. Oh, I would like to ride this merry-go-round. Mika's here with the plan. Your fairy wish is my command. Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, it's me, Mika. And today I'm visiting Hat Peak in Southgate, California. Did you know this is a place where we can rock climb? <laughs> yeah, rock climbing is a fun way to exercise our bodies. Oh, I have an idea. Let's play a game. Every time I make it all the way to the tippy top, I'm gonna get a Mika point. <laughs> Doesn't that sound fun? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Wow, check out all these climbing towers. <gasps> oh, before we start climbing, we should stretch and warm up our bodies. Stretching is a great way to keep your muscles healthy and safe. <gasps> okay, starting with those legs. Ah, <sighs> deep breaths. Ah. <sighs> <Ooh>. <gasps> Do you hear that? I just got a Mika point for stretching. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, before I climb, I should take off my jam pack. Okay, I'm ready. <gasps> oh, wow. Hey, I'm Mika.
Mika, nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Bertha, nice to meet you. <laughs> did you just climb all the way to the top? Yes, I did. Oh, wow. Can you show me how to get ready to climb? Yeah, of course. Awesome. <laughs> What's the first step? Thank you. Okay, so the first step, I have to get a harness on you, just for your own safety, okay? Oh, great. We're gonna get a harness on so we can be safe while we climb. Okay, so once you're ready, you're gonna put your right foot and left foot in the small holes and then just pick it up like their pants, okay? Oh, great. Right foot, left foot. Pick them up like their pants. Good job. And you're gonna hold it on your waist. Thank you. Get in it. Okay, nice you can let go. Great, I feel really secure. All right, you're good. Okay, and now the next step, you're gonna get your wheel and you're gonna put it in here, okay? Got my wheel. Hear the click and then you get your key and then take it right out. Release the key. There you go. <gasps> Great. And then just let your mat come down and then you're good to go. Thank you so much, Bertha. Yeah, of course. Bye. <laughs> okay, my harness is on and I'm locked into the belay and I'm ready to go because I'm safe and ready. <laughs> Are you ready? Come on, let's climb. using the muscles in my legs and my arms. <laughs> Great job. Wow, another Mika point. It was so cool. I can't wait to climb another wall. But first, we have to get out of our wheel. Pick up the key. Wait for the click. There it is. And release our wheel. Woo. <laughs> Great. Are you ready for our next wall? Me too. Let's go. We're at our next wall. But first, let's stretch again. All right. Here's how I stretch my legs. Yeah. And here's how I stretch my arms. Whoa. <laughs> stretch out my toesies too. And don't forget those ears. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. Take my wheel, click, and release the key. I'm ready to go. <laughs> Whoa, don't these look like eggs? <laughs> All right, here I go. Wow, another Mika point. Whoa, I made it all the way to the top by taking it one step at a time. <sighs> all that climbing has made me kind of tired. I think now's a great time for a water break. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, let's put in our key. Quick. Grab our wheel. <sighs> let's go. I'm having so much fun climbing walls with you, but I'm feeling a little thirsty. Good thing I brought my water bottle. More Mika points, yeah. Whoa, did I just get another Mika point for drinking water? <laughs> Great. <sighs> climbing up high is a lot of fun, but it's important to drink water after you play. That's called staying hydrated, and it's really good for your body. Okay, now that I'm hydrated, I'm ready to climb the coolest wall ever. Are you ready? Great, let's go. Our next wall. Oh, 
and it's icy and so chilly. It's Mount Everest and it's really, really cold. Warm up your hands with me. Oh, I know. Let's dance it out to warm up our bodies. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, I'm ready. Let's buckle in and head up the mountain. Click, Mika Point, here I come. It was cold, but I had a lot of fun. I saw so many polar bears at the top. And I earned a Mika point. And we got a Mika point. You know what else I earned? <gasps> Some hot cocoa. Ooh, nice and warm. Mmm. Now let's go see what other fun things we can do. Surprise! Here I am. <laughs> oh, check out these blocks. I want to stack them. Yellow and then blue. Oh, let's do another yellow and another blue. Whoa, cool pattern. A pattern is something that repeats itself. See? Blue, yellow, blue, yellow. Let's put another yellow one on top. Whoa, it's getting so high. Another blue at the very top. Ooh. Whoa, I got it, cool. <laughs> Let's see if we can put another yellow one on top. Okay, here I go. Whoa! Awesome! That was so much fun. Let's find another wall to climb. Whoa! This wall is awesome. It looks like seven bouncy balls stacked on top of each other. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is going to be the most challenging climb yet. Challenging means it's going to take a little bit more effort than before, but I'm up for the challenge. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get a Mika point for every ball I climb on. That's going to be a lot of Mika points. You ready? <laughs> Me too. All right, put our wheel in. Click. And release the key. Make a point. Here I come. Put in my key, release the wheel. <gasps> that was so much fun. It was challenging, but we made it all the way to the top. Great job! <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> wow, today was awesome. First, we stretched our bodies and warmed up. Then Bertha showed us how to put on a harness so we could safely climb our first wall. <gasps> we had hot cocoa on top of Mount Everest. Then we finished with a grand finale on the seven bouncy balls and earned lots of Mika points. You helped me earn this many Mika points today. <laughs> Whoa, we make such a great team. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? Great, M-E-E-K-A-H. 
Beach. Mika. Okay, see you later. Bye. Hey, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at the Intrepid Museum in New York City. Check it out. The Intrepid is so big. It's an aircraft carrier that can have airplanes land on it. That's how big it is. <laughs> Let's go inside and explore. Come on. Check it out. We're at the Concorde. This is one of the very first supersonic airplanes. Do you know what that means? That means that this plane goes faster than the speed of sound. We get to go inside and check it out. Come on. I got you. There you go. You can get it after. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> oh, you wanna? Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh. oh, can you just? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh. Hi, I'm Mika, your flight attendant on Supersonic Airlines. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just Mika, I'm just playing. <laughs> this plane is so cool. Check out the seats. Ooh, you can rest your arm and just relax on your flight. <laughs> Did you know that this plane holds the world record for fastest flight from New York to London? <laughs> it got to London in under three hours. That's really, 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 really fast. <laughs> hey, wanna go check out the cockpit? Let's go. Hi, I'm First Officer Mika. <laughs> A first officer assists the pilot. But there's no pilot. Hmm, let's see. I'm gonna give a little call here. Hello? Hi, yes, it's First Officer Mika, and we don't have a pilot. Mm-hmm. No, I'm looking right now, there's no pilot. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> oh, this is so cool to be in the cockpit. There's so many different buttons and controls and this is the steering wheel. It controls the wings of the airplane. <sighs> Whoa, look at all of these circles. See? There's a lot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, this, it says visor nose. This controls the nose of the airplane. It can either go down or it can go up. You have to know a lot to fly a plane. What else? Oh, see the wheel button? The wheels, make sure you go in for a nice smooth landing. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Whoa, what else is in here? Whoa, all these little numbers look like something you'd see on a telephone. Ooh, and this is the throttle. This is how you can go fast or slow. So you wanna go so fast, you wanna go so slow. <laughs> mm. Wow. I wonder how long it takes to learn what all of these buttons and controls do. Ooh, ooh. Can we just get ready here? Are you ready to fly with me? Awesome, let's count down together. Three, two, one. Fly! Woo! Let's go even faster! Woohoo! Here we are on the flight deck! This place is amazing! We're up high, we can see a lot of the New York City skyline, and look at these amazing planes! This is where planes would take off and where they would land, but it's actually not long enough, so they would use a device to catapult planes into the sky! Isn't that so cool? <laughs> Whoa, look at that plane. Oh, I see a helicopter. Oh, they're just hanging out on the flight deck. That's where the planes hang. And they have these beautiful views. <laughs> what? There's someone on one of the planes? <gasps> You're right. Hi. Hi. Let's go get a closer look. Hey! Hi, come on up. Thank you. Whoa! Hi, I'm Mika. Hi, Mika. I'm Jen. Hi, Jen. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So what do you do here? So I am a museum educator, which means that I teach all kinds of people, students, children, adults coming into the museum. Awesome. So you must know a lot about planes. I do. Well, if I'm in the front here, does that mean that I'm the pilot? 
You are a pilot, but you are still learning how to be a pilot. So you're technically a student driver. Oh, okay. So then would you be the pilot or the instructor? I would be the instructor. So I would be back here and I could take control of the plane if I needed to. Oh, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I really like the look of this plane. I love the colors. I can see red and white and blue. Absolutely, the red, white, and blue let other planes know that this is an American airplane. And also the red and white, they're high visibility. So it lets people know that you're still learning how to be a pilot. Oh, that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. Well, it's so cool that I get to be inside of this airplane. Yeah. <laughs> would you like to go inside of a helicopter? Yes, I would. All right, uh, let's go. Okay, let's go. Wow. This is amazing. Yeah. So this is our Sea Guardian helicopter. It was used by the Coast Guard to help rescue people out in the ocean. Wow, that's super important. Absolutely. And you'll notice here we have pontoons, one Pontoon. here and one on the other side. And then the shape of the front of the helicopter matches that of a boat so yeah. that it can land directly on the water. Whoa, this helicopter can land on water? Absolutely. That's it can. really cool. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. You're also going to notice that we've got colors. We've got red and white, similar to the mentor that we were just in. Yeah, I was just going to say, we were just in a red and white plane. Yeah, so same colors, both so that they can be high visibility so people notice them, but fit different reasons. The mentor over there is high visibility, so people stay away from you because you're right. learning, new, new learning to drive. Uh -huh. And this one is high visibility, so that people know to flag you down so that you can help them. Oh, that makes Absolutely. sense. Absolutely. Wow, what a helpful and useful helicopter. Yeah. In fact, the way it helps people, you'll notice the hook right up here. There's a basket inside. We could connect to that hook to lower down into the water. Wow, yeah, let's go see what the basket looks like. Absolutely, come on in. Okay. Wow, look, it looks like a giant basket you would use to get groceries. Yeah, you need it to fit people in there, so it needs to be a big basket. Yeah, it is mm -hmm. really big. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is so cool. Thanks for showing me. Yeah, you can see the hole right here that would connect to the hook. Oh, yeah. And we even have some floats on either side of the basket to help it float when it drops down into the water. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Well, before you let me pretend to fly the airplane, did I pretend to fly this helicopter? Absolutely, let's go. <gasps> yes, let's do it. Check out the cockpit in this helicopter. Yeah, all kinds of different controls in here. Yeah, there's a lot going on. I see a lot of circles and buttons and knobs. Absolutely. But the three things that you're going to use to really steer this, mm -hmm. you have your pedals yeah. down on the floor, okay. just like you would in a car. You have your joystick right here that's oh, going to... You have one too. I have one too. All right. And then you have this control right here, which lifts up and down to help lift the helicopter up and down. Whoa, so you use your feet on the pedals. Mm -hmm. You hold on to this. What did you call it? Joystick. Joystick. And you have this controller too? Absolutely. You're that's doing a lot. lot. <laughs> that seems like a really hard job. It is. It's really complicated. Wow. <laughs> Yep. And then when you want to land, we have landing gear, just like we would on a plane. So that control is oh. right here. Yeah. I'm gonna flip it up. Now, you're not always going to have the landing gear down for this one because remember it lands on the water. So oh, we're not gonna right. use our wheels when we're landing on the water. Oh, so we don't even need that? Not all not the time. Not if we're landing not on water. Not if we're landing on water, absolutely. Oh, cool. And then yeah. I've seen this before in a car, parking brake. Yep, so that does help when you're on land to just make sure it doesn't go rolling away anywhere. Wow, very smart. Absolutely. Oh, I feel like an official helicopter flyer. <laughs> you're doing great. <laughs> hey, well, we'll see you soon. Jen and I have a big landing coming up. Are you ready? Yeah, let's, let's land do this. this. Yes. Woo! Oh, cool. This looks like a map of the Intrepid. Yeah, you can see the entire length of the ship. It is as long as three football fields lined up end to end. Whoa, that is really, really long. We did some serious walking today. Definitely, a lot of exercise, a lot of steps. Wow, well, I'm gonna keep exploring, but it was so nice meeting you, Jen, and thank you for showing me all of this. Absolutely, it was nice showing you around and have fun. Oh, thanks. See ya. Bye. Let's go. Hey, look behind me. It's the Intrepid. <laughs> well, it's a model of the Intrepid made out of Legos. Isn't that cool? Let's get a closer look. Whoa, this is amazing. There's so much to look at. Oh, I see people, workers and helpers. You know, 
You can know what kind of job someone has based off of the color of their uniform. So, oh, like right here, brown. And see, this person's wearing brown too. They are pilots. And, oh, this friend right here in green. <laughs> and there's another one. If you're wearing green, you help direct the planes. You help with takeoff and landing. Whoa. Oh, look at these two. These are two officers. Hello, officer. Hello, officer. Good to see you. <laughs> Old friends. <laughs> Let's keep looking. Oh, hello. <laughs> <gasps> these two people are wearing purple. One of my favorite colors. They have really cool jobs. They refuel the planes or they juice up the planes. And because they wear purple and they juice up the planes, they have really cool nicknames. They call them the grapes. <laughs> this is amazing. I wonder what else is here. Let's go find out. Oh, this looks like a comfy, cozy spot. There's three bunks. Do you know who would sleep here? The sailors. Oh, let's try it out. Can you imagine if you're on a bunk bed for three people? You have a friend here, you have a friend down there. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> That'd be such a fun sleepover. <sighs> oh, I bet there's more to go see. Come on. Let's go that way. <laughs> oh, this is the part of the ship for different ways to communicate to other people in ships. Like, here's the other end of the voice tube. Hello! <laughs> oh, and over here, it says Morse code. Let's see, type your name in Morse code. Yeah, did you hear that? It's a way to communicate with other people that are super far away. So, hmm, I'll spell my name. If it's a long line like that, you hold it down. And if it's a dot, like that, it's Okay, so Mika, M, E, E, K, A, H. Mika, if anyone is wondering. <laughs> oh, and this Big light is another way to communicate with people on ships super far away. Let's see. Whoa, that's a really bright light. You could probably even see it through a really foggy night. Hello! Check out these red paddles. One, two. They're kind of like ping pong paddles. Well, they're super cool and helpful because it's another way to communicate. Pilots needed to be able to land safely. So they relied on signal landing officers like me. Let's see. Uh, let's try this one. It says, wave off, do not land. Do not land. <laughs> or this one that means, too high, you're too high. Or too low, you're too low, buddy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, here's another way to communicate with signal flags. Let's see. Uh, I want to tell that ship over there, the pizza has been delivered. My work here is done. Huh, something cool over here. Looks like a person wearing a green shirt. Hey, we saw something like this on the model of the Intrepid, do you remember? If someone's wearing a green shirt, they help the planes take off and land. You're doing a great job. Smooth landing. <laughs> cool. Oh, there's another one over here. Do you know what color shirt this is? It's white. Yep, this is a landing signal officer. Hey, that's like the one I just did with the red paddles. That was a landing signal officer. Hello, I'm a landing signal officer. I, I don't think they sang, but... This one is wearing a blue shirt. If you're wearing a blue shirt, you're a plane handler and you move the aircraft around the flight deck. Hi! 
What kind of job would you want to have? They had so many different jobs on the Intrepid. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> what a fun day at the museum! I can't believe that we got to go inside of the Concorde and an airplane and a helicopter. Oh, and do you know what this is? This is the Lockheed A-12. It goes super fast, three times the speed of sound. <laughs> well, I hope you had fun learning with me today. This is the end of this video, but if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. All right, see you soon. Hey, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at Billy Bee's in Anaheim, California. Billy Bee's is an indoor playground, so it's a great place to play and have fun and use our imaginations. Come on. Whoa. Hey, it looks like we're in a town. We could definitely use our imaginations here. <gasps> Wait, this looks like a mailbox. Huh, I actually have something I need to mail. A note for my grandma. <laughs> there you go. Nice. Whoa, come in here. Hey, we could imagine that we're at a grocery store. Yeah. Have you ever been to a grocery store before to pick out some yummy food? Hmm, let's see. Ooh, waffles, that's yummy for breakfast. There's lots of breakfast food here. Cereal. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, cheese crackers. And a mini pretzels. Let's go, get to pay for it. <laughs> okay, I'll just ring my up. Okay, let's see, what do we have here? Cheese crackers, okay. And we have some cereal. Oh, quite a deal. I love this store. Waffle, and pretzels, okay. Looks like it's, oh, only $3? Wow. Okay, looks like I can take my snacks and go home. <laughs> oh, it's so fun to use your imagination, right? All right, well, let's keep playing. I wonder what else is in this town. Hmm. Hey, this looks super fun. Oh, come in here. We could imagine that we're in school. Whoa, a clock. So colorful. <laughs> Will you count with me? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oop, <laughs> nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <gasps> it looks like it's time for school to start. We better get to class. <clears throat> Everyone settle, settle, settle. Hello, I'm your teacher, Teacher Mika. Okay, today we are going to learn how to count strawberries. Ready, class? <clears throat> A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten strawberries. Good job. <laughs> oh, what's this? Look at this, I see a pattern. Blue, yellow, red. Blue, yellow, red. Blue, yellow. Do you know what's next? That's right, red. Whoa. <laughs> well, looks like class is over, everyone. You deserve a break. Go outside and play. <laughs> All right, how else can we use our imagination? What's this? Oh, interesting. Hmm, looks like some toy tools and instruments. Hey, these are all things that doctors and nurses use, like a stethoscope. Let's check my heartbeat here. Dun, dun. My heartbeat has 
has a good beat. <laughs> what else? Hmm. Oh, maybe you would wear this name tag so everyone would know what your name was. Dr. Mika. <laughs> That's cool. And nutritious nibbles for healthy and happy kids. <laughs> That's really funny. Looks like pretend vitamins or something. Oh, have you ever seen a tool like this? Sometimes doctors use something like this to check your reflexes. Let's check my reflexes. <clears throat> All right, usually they hit you in the knee right here. Ready? Whoa! Did you see that? Let me try the other leg. <laughs> I have really good reflexes. <laughs> All right, I'll put this back. <sighs> it's so fun playing. I wonder what else they have here. Come on. Whoa. Hey, look over here. Even with basic shapes, you can use your imagination. Like, come down here. <gasps> this is a my dog house. I have a dog in here. Do you want to say hi? Okay. Come on out, Rover. Oh, oh. he's sleeping, taking a little nap. Oh, <laughs> hey, and I could pretend that this is a trampoline. Will you bounce with me? Okay. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> this trampoline is awesome. Whoa. <laughs> oh, and we could pretend that this is a mailbox. Oh, I got a note back from my grandma. Dear Mika, thanks for the note. See you next Saturday for our tea party. Oh, she's so sweet. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, we could pretend that these blocks are my next door neighbor's house. Let's put some blocks here together to make a house. Oh, I like this one. Do you know what color this is? Yellow, one of my favorite colors. And it's a one, two, three, four, square. <laughs> nice. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna put it like this. And here's the roof. This is my neighbor's house. I'm just keeping an eye on it while they're on vacation. And ooh, come with me to the rainforest. Maybe we could ride our Skateboard through the rainforest. Whoa, this is so fun. Whoa. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Whoa, what is this? Maybe we could zip line through the rainforest. Woo. <laughs> and we can pretend like we're worms and dig through the dirt. Here we go. Doom, 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 doom. It's so much fun to use your imagination. Do you want to play some more? All right, let's do it. Over here. Look, a circle. Oof, I'm going to crawl through. Hello. Another circle, see? Whoa. <laughs> hmm, I wonder what's down here. Hey, we could imagine that this as a colorful snake or a macaroni necklace. Have you ever made a necklace out of macaroni? <laughs> and I noticed a pattern. See, maroon, yellow, maroon, oh, excuse me, <clears throat> yellow. So cool, right? Oh, excuse me. It also kind of looks like ketchup, mustard, Ketchup, mustard. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> hey, I see a yellow slide. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and I think there's one down here too. Yeah, a green slide. Hmm, which slide should I go down? Yellow or green? Yellow or green? <gasps> yellow or green? Hmm, I think green. Hey, will you meet me at the bottom of the slide? All right. 
See you there. Whoa! <laughs> that was so fun! Hey! <gasps> Let's imagine that these are colorful logs on a rushing river! Okay. Let's see if I can get to the top without falling in the water. Can I do it? <gasps> I got this. I got this. I got this. I did it! <laughs> oh, it's over here. Whoa, check this out. Maybe this is a big vine that we have to get past, but it's always in the way. Whoa! <laughs> Come on. Hey, look, more logs on the river. Butter, butter. Whoa, <laughs> this is so cool. Come on. More logs. Oh. Have to be careful. It's going down the water. <laughs> oh, I see another big vine. We're coming for you, vine. Whoa! <laughs> Pretty good, huh? <laughs> what else is over here? Oh, I see something. I have to go get it. Goodbye! <laughs> I had so much fun with you today. I Bees. It was really cool using our imaginations. Remember, we pretended to go to school, pretended to be doctors, we went to the grocery store. Oh, I wrote a letter to my grandma and she wrote back right away. <laughs> I had such a good time moving my body and playing. Thank you so much for learning with me today. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> All right, I'll see you next time. Oh, bye. <laughs> Come on, everyone. Let's make a learning fun. Mika, Mika. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout Mika. Mika.